Seven-Sided Dies Carpathian Adventure. I am Bayuk Osman Ghazi. Travel back 700 years to a fantasy earth. The world is a gritty, dangerous place. The papacy is challenged by an anti-pope. The papal disbanded Templars recede into memory. And the Teutonic Order seems to be consuming magic, secularizing and growing in power. Two emperors battle within the Holy Roman Empire and Hungary is at its height. But is being torn apart by a civil war. As they all fight amongst themselves, I expand rapidly and consume everything. The adventurers that call themselves the champions of the sun discovered that I am a now they are trying to create a powerful weapon to destroy me. They will never succeed. While many have walked with these self-proclaimed champions, these are the present adventurers. Only a city as grand. Beautiful and powerful as Genoa could bear a man of my talent. Me? I am Naldo Renzi, treasure hunter, adventurer, master swordsman, and lover. In my journeys, I have learned of the adventures of the champions of the sun. They are just who I am looking for to assist me in the retrieval of the rare artifacts I seek. And heaven knows they could use my help in whatever they are up to. I am Balder, a Norseman, a soldier, and an eldritch knight. I left my home to leave politics behind, only to be dogged by it across Europe. I first met the Champions of the Sun outside a small town in Hungary. Together, we battled Ottoman raiders and vampires. The Champions gave me purpose again. Where it takes me, I know not, but I know I want to be a part of it. I am Kip Kaelin, Ranger of the North, and I am lost. Hailing all the way from Garen in Scotland, I have faced great tragedy, losing all those dear to me. I am haunted by that fateful night and what was taken from me. I face defeat at every turn, attempting to enact revenge on those that did this to us. And when all my strength resources, and allies, save for my trusted wolf Rykoa, was depleted. I stumbled upon the Champions of the Sun at the Battle of Sagut. I decided to ally myself with these seemingly capable and worthy adventurers to aid me in putting the lost to rest. It is what she would want, or so she seems to indicate. I am Vilela. I hail from far off Ethiopia. With no brothers, my noble father indulged my obsession with self-defense. On business in Rome, my family was a hostage, but my skills enabled me to defeat our attackers. My desire to fight crime fueled. In my travels, I made a powerful enemy who may now pursue me. Near the Drusistine, I met a stoic knight and the champions of the sun. Now, in a strange land, I hope they can help me deliver justice to criminals, or death. In these dark times, the dead rise and strike fear and feed on the living. I am Baron Andre Franz Helwin II. I am dedicated to unlocking the forbidden secrets of my family. Through science and God, I strive to make the dead stay dead. Many fear what they do not understand. They 
raw materials of the flesh. I am Matthias of the House of Bathory, Knight Baron of Carpathia. With my traveling companion, Ambria, I was dragged into a whirlwind path by a rogue monk. But those I have met since then have earned my respect and, more importantly, my trust. If you meet one who claims to be a champion of the sun, tell me their whereabouts. Better yet, kill them on sight. I will reward you handsomely. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Seven Side Dives. I'll be the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, I'm Tom. Thank you for joining us. We're a group of gamers who get together in real life to play Dungeons and Dragons. Some of us are military, others are in construction. Still others are retail managers, a few are in IT, we're parents, students, etc. So we do this strictly for fun. We hope you enjoy it nonetheless. I wish you guys could see the Viking, what are they, the Viking? Techno yeah, Techno Vikings. Techno Vikings in the background. We do this strictly for fun. All right, you gotta make it keep going. Uh, hang on a second here. Where, where are the Techno Vikings? <laughs> oh, come on. The rest of you guys are funny duddies. Okay. We do this strictly for fun. We hope you enjoy it. Nonetheless, there were quite a few thank yous in our open, except one. You, we'd like to thank you, our Twitch, Facebook, Kick, Twitter X followers, and our YouTube subscribers. A thank you for joining us. If you have not already, please follow on Twitch and Kick. Please like on YouTube and Facebook, and please subscribe on YouTube. If during the stream you follow on Twitch, or if you subscribe on YouTube, your username will pop up on the screen. To all of our followers and subscribers, thank you. Let's jump right in. Welcome back, Champions of the Sun. Huzzah! Huzzah! Yeah. Huzzah! Welcome back! Okay, the dreaded question of the night. Uh, before I wish you good times, great rolls, and happy adventuring, the dreaded question of the night that I posed to the party. What happened last session? So long ago. <laughs> yeah, it was a really long time ago. We killed a whole bunch of people in the sewer, mm -hmm. including... Uh, then we walked into. Oh man, that might even be the session. No, yeah, that was yeah. Before. Then we yeah. fought the golems, right? There was the gold golems. That was the last well, session, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, we started we, at the so door. We started. We at went the into the mistress's sanctuary. Sanctuary. <laughs> Very good word. Yeah. And she has mountains of gold, mountains. just waiting for us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, we went into the mistress's chamber. Whatever it is. Um, you gotta say it, young Frankenstein esque though. What are they? Uh, <laughs> uh, not mountains. Uh, what? Oh, okay. uh, Great was... tracks of land. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Great tracks of land. And um, we talked a little, uh -huh. fought a lot. Well, she wanted we tried to, to talk a little. She bit. wanted Zubeda. She wanted Zubeda. She wanted Galela to uh, oh, yeah, that's right. forfeit to herself. Yes. And be we sacrificed to get the thing, and reluctantly refused. We said no. Um, we said she, May maybe. She didn't yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, and we kind of fought it out. Yeah. And um, she summoned some giant gold all beasts. All of us dropped, and Galela was managed to deliver the yeah. finishing blow. The killing blow on her last legs as well, yes. I believe. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Very but close. But in excellent fashion, Galela yes. got to. Put an end to it. Uh -huh. um, and what did she do? She did something that was pretty cool. It was the drop kick. She did the kick. Right? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah but then she yeah. said she she was. Oh, and he she asked her if she had any she last any words, last and then she, she like let her stabbed yeah. her before she yeah, said anything. It was pretty sweet. Yeah, that was good. Um, and then she dragged all our unconscious bodies. Yeah. 
So our, around our heads are on piles of gold. Piles into, uh -huh. Yeah, lay, lay us on piles of gold. Close to gold. We might uh, be treasure but, right now. <laughs> uh, I think, did she get Balder up last session? Nope. nope. No, 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 that's less. where we ended. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it from what I can remember. Okay, the party. You guys are still in the in the swamp. It is this greenish gray, this misty area, if you will. You're completely unconscious at this point. Just darkness is all you see. You heard some noise before you started to pass out, and, and somehow within your gods, you reached in yourself and you, you found the inspiration to push forward. Kroof, you're not with this party, but you're down in the sewers under the city, the Ile de Cité, or Paris, being the rather roguish-like character that you are. You were heard rumors of a great amount of wealth buried underneath the city somewhere, ventured down into the sewers to try and perhaps see what you could find. And very quickly in the sewers, being the bit of a novice that you are, you got lost. And But you heard noise up ahead. You heard individuals talking at a door and saying, are we doing this? <laughs> yes, we're doing this. <laughs> there was a long time. A subconscious <laughs> voice saying to them, are you sure you're doing this? You passed not one, not two, not three, not four, but five exits on your way here. <laughs> are you sure you're doing this? And they said, yes, we are doing this. You crept slowly closer toward the sound and then this, the sound then suddenly became a ruckus of combat and smashing metal and spells going off and coins being tossed about and <laughs> like a rain of coins dropping down from the ceiling. Moving, the sound of coins intrigued you and you slowly made your way into the room. And that's about where I'm gonna stop taking your agency away from you. Um, Kip, you're laying there in complete unconsciousness at this juncture. No, just utter, utter blackness. And you feel like you're starting to come to, if you will, As you, you you have this weird sense that you're you're someplace else. You really can't place it immediately. It's just blackness and and mist and the darkness slowly gives way. And you find yourself on a rocky coastline. The wind is howling. There's a storm just beating against the against the shoreline in the distance. You recognize the area. You you feel like you know where this is. And from the storm, a figure appears. And you know immediately who it is. She turns and sees you. Kim. Do you remember this night? Is this home? Garenin. This is how I remember it. That, the night of... But my memories are fading. What happened? I, 
I wasn't here. I left you alone. Why? Why did you leave me? We needed food and I was, I was out hunting. Some terrible things happened. There were flashes of light and creatures and... I, I don't remember all of the details, but there was just... I, I do remember screams. And I, I feel as though some were taken, but I also feel as though I can't hold on to my memories anymore. Those are memories that maybe you should let go, but there are good memories. We should we should remember them. Well, what, what what help help me remember them? What what were what were the good memories? Uh, you and I, we were mates. We loved each other very much. We've known each other since we were. Young, lads, lasses. We, we grew up playing together. You were my best friend. We just got married. I, 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 just all of it is fading. Um, am I dead? Your body is dead. But your, your soul, it is with me, always. You are alive, here. So I, I see you. I see you everywhere. You are always with me. Is there, is this, if I'm in you, with you, is this, is this purgatory? Or something else, or? Mayhap it's the in-between between our world and that of the Feywild, the nature, Mother Earth. What, what is the Feywild, our heaven? I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's another heaven. The Christians believe such things. What would that be like? Peace. Uh, I, I hear it's love more than I can ever give you. Uh, rest. Just all your dreams come true. Where we could be together forever. Happy. No more pain. I mean, it sounds... It sounds like a, a very good place. In, indeed. How do we get there? I don't know. I think... I think it would be nice to be there. Together, not... Not here, not in this, this place that I'm in. I think it would be much better to be there. I'm, I'm, I, I'm trying. Kip. This, the evil that did this to you, it is, it is still out in the world. And I think maybe if, if I can, if I can end it, then we can be together, and maybe we can we can be at peace. There, I, must, there must be a way. I I feel I, I I feel I can't explain it. I feel something pulling me, and I the memories I have or had. I feel like they're fading and I'm being pulled and I don't want to be pulled from you I want us to be together and but I don't know how much longer I 
can hold on. Um, Kip will reach down and he'll pull out one of his swords and he'll aim it at himself and say, I can be with you right now if you wish it. The memory starts to fade. But you see her standing on the shoreline, the rocky Garanin shoreline, the storm, and she just kind of fades and the darkness slowly envelops you. As your eyes start to flutter ever so slightly, and as your eyes start to flutter ever so slightly, you feel a presence about you and you look around and you see a figure among among you guys among the party members moving among the party members and then blackness overcomes you again uh, just before I fade I'll just whisper I love you and you hear just the wind in the background. Oh, snap. That's oh. nasty. Wow. That's that's just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Kalela. <clears throat> you're in the sewers and you're moving among the party members and you see a figure moving towards you and the party members. Describe what he looks like. He is uh, <clears throat> very, uh, he's thin, uh, about uh, five foot ten. Uh, wiry, um, just dressed, simple clothes, nothing special. A cloak, trying to conceal his faith, his face. Trying to see what's happening there and not sure who these people are, but don't really want to know who these people are. <laughs> because, you know, a lot of just happened. He just wants to be on his way to so look for gold and see if he can maybe sneak around them. Um, not sure if I see anything that's around them, but just want to get on my way and see what else I can find here. As you're wander, you're skulking in the shadows to the extent that you can, you see the raised area in the middle of the room surrounded by water it's dank it is almost like a mist and a stench in these sewers the raised area and there is a pile of gold higher and larger than any pile of gold that you've ever seen there's more gold piled atop this raised platform than any one person six person dozen person could carry out it is huge and and buried among of it and trickling down off to the sides into the sewer itself and in various other areas there's trinkets and baubles and goblets and candelabras and and vases and you happen to reach down and find a few flasks among it that you have on you you see him I don't know if skulking is the right word mm -hmm. You are the only one of your party that is currently conscious. I immediately notch my arrow at you. I, if I, if I notice, do I notice what she's doing? Um, sure. I mean, you okay. see each other. I'm blatant about it. <laughs> I'm blatant. No, no. I mean, I don't know how, how far. So uh, if you I, you are I, where your figure is. Let's okay, say. I, if if that happens, I will immediately fade into the darkness. Okay, you, you try. Give me a stealth roll, if you will. Eighteen. Eighteen. So, you're a figure. You're standing there. You see that her notch, and you just kind of step back and disappear slightly. What's your uh, perception? I assume you're looking for him. Mm -hmm. Roll me a perception check. I rolled a 
same for you, Rose. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. See, his figure disappears into the darkness. But I mean, you know generally where he disappeared to, but you don't see him anymore. What are you guys doing? I, I, just, oh. I will just yell out of the darkness. I'm not looking for trouble. I just want to grab maybe some gold and leech and be on my way. I don't need any. I don't need much, and not looking for any kind of confrontation. Out of the shadows, and there won't be any. Not with the arrow pointing. Who are you? Just someone looking for gold. I want no trouble. Not looking for trouble. Not trying to get into trouble. Just wanted some gold. Got lost down here. Heard the ruckus. Came to see what's going on. So you ventured down into sewers? Yes. I won't shoot. Just come out. Unfortunately, I can't take that chance. <laughs> I don't know you from a hole in a wall. <laughs> Would not know. I see you guys killed some pretty powerful things lying on the ground. I am just a lowly, lowly person. I have, besides my dagger, I don't have much weapons. I'm just looking to grab some gold and be on my way. I'm not looking for any trouble. I'm not looking for any friends. For all you know, she killed all of us, too. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I, I just came We're upon bodies scattered all That's over the place. Bad, evil by the way. <laughs> I, I see bodies scattered all over the place, I, you know. If you see her in a little bit of light, I imagine she's a little in shadow. Her eyes are just red. And she has, like, black, like, mascara, if you will, almost. But soot just, like streaking her face and she's going to go to the edge I guess of everybody sort of um I will lower my weapon and if I do swear that you will not hurt me or my friends I'm not looking for trouble, but lowering your weapon is not good enough. If you want to put it on the ground, I'll come out. I'm lowering it, I'm like putting it slowly down on the ground. Not that I need it. <laughs> not that I need it. <laughs> I don't know. And no, then I'll maybe. just put my bow down, and I'll lift my hands up. But will... my fingers are slightly curled, as if, you know, they were easy to, to cast a spell. <laughs> so, is there a way I can... I see her, I see her, obviously she's in some kind of light. Is there a way for, do I see any way to come around her and not necessarily straight on? You, um, you're on a, a raised, slightly raised area that's the same level as this area over here. This is a sewer stream Got it. and this is, I believe, a sewer stream as well. Mm -hmm. And there's a sewer stream and this is a raised area. You can see you kind of disappeared back into the little bit of darkness over here at this point. You're still in shadow, still concealed or or hidden, if you will, albeit your voice projecting from the darkness. You glance either way, and what you see is what you see. You see a kind of a well-lit area there, but you think if you could dash beyond it, there might be a dark area, or if you were to dash the, hmm, it might be a little bit more hard pressed to go in the opposite direction. Or you could jump into the water and... But I'm not sure what's there. No. This so, right here is... We've all done it. Right. <laughs> I see where you ended up. Yeah, but it's a little bit darker over there. The entire area is not brightly lit at all. It's dim light at the best, and then there's darkened corners. Mm -hmm. Heavy shadows. You hear the gurgling from your from your your brain. <laughs> <laughs> I've stabilized everyone last time. Yes, You're I stable. <laughs> so, can I, even though this is not uh, combat, can I use uh, cunning uh, cunning action? 
I'm going to say for now, sure. Okay. So I'm going to try to dash uh, in the shadows, keep trying to stay into the shadows, dash, trying to get her around her. Not necessarily come straight at her because she is obviously somebody who is, you know... Okay. I don't know if she's the one who killed everybody or not. No, I understand. Okay. Um, give me a stealth check with I mean, She's got red <laughs> eyes. Like, whoo. Yeah. Red eyes. Like, she's a, like the white oh, Deep oh, covered in with blood. With disadvantage? Covered in blood and mascara. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Strange accent. Yes, with disadvantage, please. Uh, just 2D. Roll, roll 2D twice 20 20 and just take the lower oh, the bodies and throw them on your treasure pile. Uh, oh, that's bad. Uh, a six. A six. Um, your passive perception. Y you see a figure dart out of the shadows, dart all the way along, and then just give me a regular stealth check. Um, ten. A ten. So probably not either. So you see this figure dart out of the shadows uh, through a little bit of dim light, not bright light, and then quickly jump back into the shadows and kind of try to fade back in, but you can still make out the shape of him in the shadows over in the far corner. Um, what are you guys doing? I instantly turn my body to follow the sound, to just track you. Okay. I still have my hands up, and I'll just say, take one step closer. <laughs> I, I, I'm still don't know who you are, and you have a lot better weapons than I do. I cannot, I'm still not going to be able, maybe if you stay away, why don't you step away from your bow a little bit, at least give me at least some kind of feeling of safety. <laughs> not because you asked, but because you are too close to my friends on this side, I am moving around because I don't like that you are, I'm not in front of them now at that point. Nadius is even angry when he sleeps. And are you not next to your bow, right? Or you picked your I, bow? I left the bow. Okay, so I'm gonna then at that point come take with my dagger pointing straight, come out of the shadow slowly, and say again, like I I, I reveal myself, and you see this uh, 23 year old, 25 year old, skinny kid. Uh, and, you know, like I said, I'm not looking for any trouble. I'm just looking for some gold. And it looks like you have plenty there. I have no problem maybe taking a pocket for and leaving. Or I can get on my way either way. And yet you have a dagger pointed at my face. <laughs> but yet... But you wanted me to put my bow down. Yes. Put because your dagger down. Mm -hmm. And we can talk. I will re regrettably lower it to my side, not put it down. I just took my head. <laughs> I'm waiting. That's as far as I can go. Mm. And that might be as far as you can really go. Who are you? Like I said, just a person looking for gold. Nothing more, nothing less. There is no gold for you here. It looks like there's plenty there. You challenge someone you don't know. Oh, I'm not challenging. Tell them to put their bow down, yet you can still have a weapon. I don't tell challenge. Tell me why I should not strike you down right now. You come at the perfect time seeking gold. <clears throat> you don't have any clue what happened here. I don't. She's got the blood you don't give in her me eyes. any answers. <laughs> You're going to regret coming down to these sewers. Who are you? Just some lowly thief looking for some gold. Nothing more, nothing less. No name. My name is Kroof. Kroof. Do I recognize or know that name? And uh, would... You tell me, is it, would you be well known anywhere out no, in any I'm, circles at no, all? No, no. It doesn't ring a bell. Do you have a last name? No. I don't know, 
No, I don't have a last name, just Krug. Did you come from above? I came from above, and I got lost down here. Hopefully find my way out. But if I definitely want to leave empty-handed, where there's so much abundance of gold lying around, if you don't mind sharing a little bit, I'm more than glad to just go on my way. Not sure what happened here. Not sure who these people are. Not sure who killed who. How long were you in these sewers? For a while. But I've been lost. What is a while? Days? Weeks? <sighs> it's been three years. You know. <laughs> 10,000 years. Been, been, been <laughs> <laughs> I... I look almost, works. almost a gala. Oh, <laughs> you look like no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> Pre- I'm looking for pressures. <laughs> no, I uh, been down here a couple of days. Can't find my way out. Hopefully, I will. Hopefully, before I run out of whatever bits of food I still have left. What was it like up there when you came down? I don't know this. The, yeah. You have an imagination. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know if it's a civil town. I don't know if it's a. It's uh, Paris. It's the. I don't. Of I don't know if it's just pure chaos and debauchery, or <laughs> is it a real? You know, somebody rules with an iron fist, and it's very well kept. I am not sure. So it's hard for me to play along, outside of the fact that I don't know what the what the setting is. I'll permit you to put any spin on it you want. Okay. Uh, not the most friendliest place up there. Unless you have gold, that's you really can't do it. That's an accurate description of Paris. Yeah. <laughs> Very accurate description. Mm. I'm trying to think about... I see your hurt. Like I said, I'm not looking for trouble. I look back... Quickly, but I don't let his eye, like, let him leave. Okay. And I just want to see if anyone's stirring. I remember. You I saw. Tried, I stabilized everyone, I believe, last. Yeah, so we're all at zero. You're all at zero. Now, does someone have a nope. healing on them? No. Nope. Nope. He does. No. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the. You look around. You oh, I would have. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. No, I don't. You look around at the party members. I okay. I do remember saying I stabilized everyone, and when I did, I looked in their pockets. You did? Okay. Yes. You look in I do bars. remember saying that I wanted to see if anyone, because we were like, "Oh, the eyeballs." <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I would have, Georgie. but I wouldn't have like, taken anything other than a potion, because that's what I would have been looking for. But I wouldn't say I might have given it to him if this happened, like. Right well, this away. just happened moments yeah, ago. So, so I, I, I mean, everything's com- time mm-hmm. is compressed here a little bit. It's right, time I keep it in my sock anyway. She went to found it in my pockets. Okay. Oh. So I'm gonna say, if you want to go around around and start searching bodies, go for it. I mean, it's up to well, you. Well, Kip is right there. So, well, doesn't matter. Um. Hmm. Do you have healing capability? Why do you ask? <laughs> <laughs> Are you hurt? I don't even like cold stone. Just like... Who are these people to you? Why are they all dead? That's a good question. They are my friends and they are not dead. We were attacked. They look dead. They tried to steal your gold. Not dead yet. <laughs> I'm not dead. <laughs> I will. I perhaps you can take a gold or two. (laughs) I will bring it to you. How about? I'm dying inside. How about? (laughs) I may have a heal. Can't part with two gold. But I can. I can. How about a pocket full? Does your heal require touch? No, they're potions. No, they're potions. Oh, they're potions. No, they don't need to touch you. I just put my hand out. Is it 
is it a glass vial or what is it? Sure. Or Whatever can I throw you it? Or, okay, so. Uh, yeah, you could throw it. It's is it a no? If it's a wooden vial, I will throw no, it. No, it's probably like glass or ceramic. Okay, mm-hmm. I will. Is it flat ground? No, what you see is what you get. I'm on the staircase. You're like yeah. at the foot of the staircase. Yeah, kind of at the foot of it. So is it flat from where yeah. I am to her? Yeah. There's like they're equal heights. So in other words, if I right. roll it on the ground, is it oh, going to go water. bing, 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 no, bing, bing? No, there's no water here. He's I don't know. Oh, oh, there's water right there. Yeah, oh, okay. Kind of so if I roll it on the ground, is it going to go yeah. bing, 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 or is it going to roll straight to her? It would roll. Sure, it could roll to her. I would come a little bit. I would say, please don't go. <laughs> and I roll it. I roll it. I roll it slowly to her. A show of good faith. I roll it slow. The potion slowly to her and fade back into the shadows. Back into the shadows, like hiding. Yeah, because yeah. now you're about to heal yourself. I don't know. So here. You're gonna be even stronger. <laughs> it's scary. Is that is that a potion? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. It, what's, what did it say? With, with the evil oh, I didn't realize it was I believe different. it is. Yeah, on the back side. The yeah, look at the other side. Like the other side. side. Oh, yeah. okay, sorry. Yeah, that should oh. give you an idea. Okay. You, you meant to give me. It is a healing potion. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm going yeah. to try to play any tricks. Okay. No, no. <laughs> I mean, you tell me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, unless I have, do I have, a, do I have a poison in here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, I think so. that one would be green. I'd be green. Okay. Universal color poison. I'm going to pick it up. That's right. And hold on, hold on. Where can I... <laughs> she's like, she's like, let me check my list of who's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a good question. Now I want to say <laughs> who's first. I mean, she did say friends, you know. So I was waiting to see what she said. I there. would drink it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Not she gives it to Lycoa. You're not <laughs> oh man. <coughs> You could always play a gamble depending on how many health potions you have. You could always. That's a gamble I would play. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, I have no more if you If you let him fill up all his pockets, he can't run that fast, and then you can just take your potions. <laughs> <laughs> I just want one pocket. <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> Oh, wait, Mattias is downtown. Yeah. 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 We're all down. No. Mattias can't heal. Heal. So I would so pick you are up. the right one to get up. I have no spell slots. I can heal. Anyway. Yeah. 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 My point is that. Yeah. Well, He's bad and will take things into his own hands. <laughs> oh, hey, I have He one. would reconcile the situation. Two. I have some spell slots. Oh, there you go. Look at this guy holding out. Holding out. Yeah, maybe you should have done a little bit more in our battle. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Whatever. Maybe you should, uh, Who's, your huh? Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite? No, I would have known. You I could have, she gets the wolf before up. we die. I know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> my favorite. Don't go um, I'm going to back up and not take my eyes off of him. She steps on Kip's finger. I know. Step on your face. Uh, <laughs> negative one. Dead. One I'm going to open up um, my, the potion that I took from Kip's body first. Okay. Yeah. Because I know that that's really, you know, <laughs> for real. Okay. I'm going to keep my eyes on that guy. And I'm going to try my best. I'm going to hold a <laughs> Okay. I, don't know I if feel I like I'm going thing, for the straw. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hold. I want to hold a spell. But I don't know if you will let me do this. It's yeah. a <laughs> just like dripping it in my eyes. I kind of want to like get it ready, but I don't have to like sit there and just hold it like this. Sure. There you go. Um, and I want to give Kip the potion very quickly. Oh, she just shot you with fireball by accident. Oops. I'm not that worried about. Wait, where do you give it to him? Right hand or the fireball? <laughs> I mean, like, it was my right hand or the fireball? Wait, where can she give it to me? <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. I bet you it works quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just animal. going to like. Bottoms up. <laughs> I'm just oh, going man. to like open his mouth and try to not pour it, like. <laughs> oh, just <laughs> pour it. So, but just like, you Wait. know, like. 
so, uh, so I have a question for you. I'm not sure if I, depending on how you do it, like it. a cannibal. So, <laughs> leave it there. So if I want a sneak attack, but without trying to kill her, because she's distracted on the distraction, I can do it. Uh, she's she's pouring, head. but she's pouring. She's now looking to. Go for there's it. There's no way. Hold on. There's no way she can look at me and pour at the same time. It would be pouring all. You'd be pouring all over the floor. If I'm on this side, you'd be pouring all over the floor. If I'm there and I'm like pouring it, wait, you you just jumped over him. I'm looking at you, but I can keep my eye. Like, uh, no, I mean, I don't care. You can try. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I'd let I'm you try. Saying. Sure. You pour the potion into his mouth. You see an opportunity there to do something. What are you doing? I'm Kip, gonna Kip. You start to. <coughs> That's all I need. Yes, I am. <laughs> Start to come to. What are you doing there? Growth. Before yeah. before she can he, she can come through. I'm gonna try to just. I don't want to necessarily sneak. I just want to use my quickness just to dash, grab gold, and run. Okay, you very easily. There is gold scattered all around the room. You grab gold. Which way do you go? Uh, back into the shadows. Back okay, around. you're back back into this corner. Yeah. Okay, R roll a stealth check. So, Galayla, you saw... Would I see him? You, what, Bill, like, roll me a perception check. <laughs> like, wouldn't he have to come toward me? Yeah. I'm, I'm giving well, you... I think Tom is saying that there's gold elsewhere. Not there's gold yeah. all over the place. Oh. It's pile... It's, I mean, oh, it was almost a natural 20. Oh, oh, almost. But almost what? Yeah, it's good enough. But instead, Wait, it's a, a two. It's, yes. good, it's good enough. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I have six. Okay, you, oh, saw, you saw him... Out of the corner of your eye, move forward slightly, reach down, do something in the ground, and dodge back into the shadows. Well, if I... But he's not fully in the shadow. He's, you're you're kind of like, like this black silhouette in the shadows. Does that make sense? Sure. Okay. So could I have let loose a spell? I mean, the timing is... Now really you can. I don't... So you've just poured that in. So... He moved into the shadows. If you want to do that, sure, go for it. So I'm going to let loose... Um... Instantly on alert, my hand gets like really like turns purple, <laughs> and then just a ray of frost shoots forth toward him. And do I need to roll to hit perception? So would it be a straight roll or no? It's I? whatever your modifier says. Yeah. Well, I don't know, guys. It tells you. It tells you what your attack. Oh, what is your? It's plus? not a good. <laughs> What does it say? Plus one to hit. Your ray goes shooting 13. forth. What is it? It was a 13. 13 to hit? 13. A 13, I think, does connect with his armor. You feel this cold overwhelm you wow. briefly. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> it's alright, that's healing potions. We can heal. 14 points of damage. Huh? 14 points, 14 points he takes. 14 points you, whoosh, 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 you feel the cold rush over you, <laughs> and uh, I think you're still up. Your speed yeah. is reduced by 10. Okay. <laughs> you're cold. <laughs> and wet and cold in the sewer here. Okay, uh, what are you guys doing? I yell out, you lie. You lied. You lied. No, I grabbed gold. You, you attacked. You oh, lie. I said I would hand it to you. Are you awake yet? No. I, no. I, no. I, no. Just take it. I just took gold. It's going to be a while. Go back to sleep. I just took gold. <laughs> you attacked. You lied. I said I would well, hand you your gold. You took the gold. Mother. That's okay. Can't took you hand. The gold? It's gold. Oh, and you lied. Yeah. This is your home now. Oh, Ooh, this, this is your domain. You are now the mistress. Just start yelling at the gold to attack him. Yeah. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even, okay, realistically, I wouldn't think of that. <laughs> I would be, it would be out of pure rage if something like that triggered it. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm going to step back over, step back around. What did you say here? If you look at it that way, you might as well just think that it's, he's one of her henchmen trying to get away. Can I see my potions? Yeah. Hmm? What's the potion that you gave me? 
so I can roll. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, you got I'm nice just over one. here choking, uh, choking on this. So. Oh yeah, yeah. If this yeah. was the one, right? Yeah, the healing. Yeah. Um. Come back out. And let's talk. So you can shoot another ball at me mm -hmm. of whatever that was. Don't ask for one. <laughs> don't ask for one. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure if I can trust you. Like I said, I ran out and I grabbed gold, did not come mm -hmm. to you or menace to you, and you shot whatever that was at me. I'm not sure what that even was. You lied. You can't follow instructions. I have been having having a horrible day. I mean, it My kinda, friends are hurt. Kind of ended on a high note. <laughs> people were trying to kill us, and they managed to kill a lot of people above. You come down here at the opportune time, asking for gold, with a cloak in your head and a dagger, much like those that I just killed. Come out. This is your last warning. Kip. You're coming to, and you see Galela talking to someone uh, off in the shadows. Yeah, sure. no, sure. yeah, you see someone off in the shadows. Uh, just, you're coming to groggily. You wrestle yourself up. You you can feel the the slurble of, of of a potion in your mouth, and you see Galela standing off to your left front. And she's talking to somebody in the shadows. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will slowly like roll over, probably starting to get up, and I'll say, "Is there trouble?" And I sigh, quick sigh of relief, and I don't try to like break it. <laughs> he brings he brings it, and then I'll take another step toward where you are. I will. Try, is there room to go deep, like more, or this pretty much? Sure, a... sure. Try and roll, roll a stealth check. <clears throat> Ooh, Ooh that's right. 20. Oh, <laughs> he like, dis you like disappear in the darkness. It just nice, nice, completely nice. vanish. <laughs> I mean, to the extent that someone can vanish naturally, you're gone. I, in the meantime, I will, uh, I'll take a potion. Okay. Yeah, drink one and I'll, yeah. I'll look off into the darkness. <laughs> like, Are you alright, Galila? I don't see nothing. You, did you hit your head? You're talking to yourself. No. There was someone. And I give you a potion. Okay. And then I say. Taste it first. And I think this is a health potion. Wake the others, and I, I'm saying that as I'm walking towards where he disappeared. Okay. I'll uh, uncork it and kind of do the old. I don't want to count my I, What does it say on the. Oh, it is a it's potion of healing. Layer. That's what it is. All right. Tastes just like what it's all slurbed around my mouth. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, do you want me to move here? <clears throat> Real cops don't do that. That's how you know. Do whatever accent. you want. <laughs> It's good stuff. Would you have moved your full movement like over? No, he's back in that yeah, corner. Yeah. Far corner. Oh, you're in the corner. Uh, so I'll uh, I'll walk over and I'll see the Baron laying down and I'll. Uh, he far now. I'm gonna attempt to cast <laughs> Cure Wounds on him. Okay, understood. While that's going on, you see Galela, the, the figure you were talking to, moving toward you. It, I mean, there was some time in there before you got to where you are, so you do see her moving toward you. Are you moving? Can you describe how you're moving? Just very carefully. Threateningly? Cautiously? Cautiously, like defense, because he kind of just disappeared in the darkness. And okay. I wanted him to like, come out and hit me. Okay. Um, my, you, you know, I'm ready for another spell. Okay. That's what you see. I mean, you're right. hidden, but yeah. that's what you see. If you I, don't start giving me some answers. What? How close is she to me? Well, I mean, it would be somewhere between where the figure is now and where she was before. She, this is, I'm assuming you're you're moving forward and yeah. you're seeing mm -hmm. that as it's happening. Right. So then I would, if I if I have, do I have room to move? Sure. Can I'm going to say go sure. Up the you stairs, can try. Right? Yeah, you can move. Try and move stealthily if you want. Is, Half movement. Right is here. there? Is there? Um, 
like anywhere to climb up. There's stairs There's to the your stairs. Yeah, a set of stairs. You could run up and go over the other side of it. Sure. So can I use second story work? No, uh, I don't don't know. You don't need to climb. I I but I mean, but it, I climb the double the speed. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh sure, yeah. sure. Why not? Oh. Go for it. Move. Tr- give me a stealth roll. And the um, and the ladder out is at the top 11. of the stairs. Eleven. Ten feet less movement. This. Right okay. The That's fine. Yeah. So you move what? Thirty feet? Forty feet? What mm-hmm. is it? Yeah. Um, okay, so your figure moves. Yeah, third regular is thirty. So you you go. What is it? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. <laughs> somewhere around, right over in here. Just ballpark it. Okay, and it and your passive perception, Galela is. Oh, it's twenty. I hit you with a. False. No, your passive no. perception. No, I'm, he said he moved thirty feet. Your speed is reduced by. 10. But I, I, if I use climbing, it double the speed. Okay, yeah. your passive perception is. You know what I mean? Two stories. It's a feat. It's a okay, feat. Doesn't, feat doesn't matter, guys. Oh, oh. It's a feat. Uh, uh, either way, you, you're moving as stealthily as you can along, and your passive perception, yeah, with an 11, your passive perception of 14, you do see the, the figure moving in the shadows off to the side. Uh, so this is all kind of happening simultaneous. I'm trying to hold off on any kind of initiative or anything like that. I just, and I say it, I just want to leave. Um, if I heard him go this way or see him at this point, I would at least turn around. Okay. And walk a little closer. I'm, un- I'm afraid you cannot leave until you give me some answers of who you really are and why you're really down here. I don't believe any regular citizen would just decide to come down the sewers. I'm not a regular citizen. I'm, I'm someone who looks for gold. Does Prina Solde mean anything to you? No. Did you flinch? He answered it real quick. <laughs> you answered it too. There's only one way to know, and that's to check the GPS test. Yeah. Where were they, right? On our oh, yeah, that's our arm. Show me your arms. I'm in darkness, you can't see. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, you wouldn't be able to Come out darkness. and show me your arms. Why? If you are not a part of the Prina Saldi, then you have nothing to fear. Am I part of what? <laughs> show me your Come forearms. On. <laughs> am I above her or below? Am I Slightly her? above. Yeah. So I will, I will step where I'm, I, you know, I, but I don't, I don't know what she's looking for. So I don't know. I said, I don't know what you're looking for. You don't need to come close to me. Just show me your forearms. I will step out of the shadows real quick and flash my forearms and then go back in. Do I see the mark? You have nothing on your forearms, correct? Really funny if he's like out of his head. Oh, I have a tattoo of like. Yeah. <laughs> there is a birth mark. Just... <laughs> it looks like a bag of money. <laughs> <laughs> I just came up with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I just he just came up with it just now. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> Tell you these are my character. Yeah. Kip, what I are like you doing? Uh, I will cast cure wounds on uh, the Baron. The That's Baron, you the, are. Uh, so let's do the cast cure wounds second level. Pause on nice you guys second. for a brief moment. Yep. Uh, so it's a. Uh, oh, do you want to roll? It's a two d eight. Oh, you can roll. Oh. Okay. Um, uh, we got four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine. Nine points of healing. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. <coughs> and I'll. Um, so I will uh, kneel down and I'll, you know, touch him. And, do my thing. Where do you touch he him? This uh, on his leg. <laughs> his leg. Uh, Immediately wake up and I like as I go. Keith, <laughs> what just happened? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of, I'll lean in and I'll say. <laughs> and I sit up this way and just go. <laughs> I'll say, easy, I'll say, easy, Baron. Easy. Um, uh, uh, we took a shine in, but uh, I don't know. I think there's either somebody else here with us or Galela's going mad. Is the mistress, is she still here? Did she escape? I think Galela is our mistress now. This is very interesting. Yes, we need to get the others up. They're all down. What do we have to, to help them? 
I'll, 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 I'll hand you the potion because I, I can I can heal. Um, I am drained. Yeah. I'll rush over to uh, Naldo. Yeah. yeah, you get Naldo's got a big grin on his face as he's like, <laughs> I'll get uh, I'll get Matthias. Uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna I'll, 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 as quickly as I can. I'm gonna go over to Naldo. Okay. While you're uh, going over to Naldo, back with Galela and Kroof. What are you guys doing? If anything. I go, are you satisfied? Not without answers. I gave you all the answers I have. I'm not sure what else you want from me. Besides the fact that you shot at me, whatever that was. So even though you put down your bow, you're still alive. I'm getting really tired of you calling me a liar. <laughs> where is, where is and Galela? And I'm inching Where is she? forward, even lower. <laughs> Uh, Mattias, nine points of health. Mattias, you are you come to and you see uh, Kip hovering over you, pouring a potion <laughs> into uh, no, your no potion, just cure ones, healing you, rubbing you on your leg, and, <laughs> yeah. and you sit upright in your tin can outfit, and you hear some voices around the room. You recognize Kip's voice. You recognize the Baron's voice. You recognize Galela's voice off to your right a bit in the distance. Um, and that is what you hear as you slowly, groggily come to. Um, Baron, you are Did, pouring a potion. Why is oh, like, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Bright. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Yellow. It's your, it's your armor. It's so shiny all the time. No, no, no. Not my armor. Everything else. It's yellow. <laughs> Um, does anybody have anything to eat? I'm starving. <laughs> it's all I think Galela is still in trouble. Yeah, Everything is kind of simultaneous, so interact as you desire. Yeah, okay. Galela um, is still in trouble. And, then, and I'm going to start calling for Galela. I'll go over and start okay. to heal my cow, which takes a full minute. Okay. How much blood did I lose? <laughs> I feel strange. Not all of it. I think there's some left. <laughs> Uh, yes, and I am very <laughs> glad for that. Do you but have I anything to eat, Matthias? <laughs> strange. I believe I have some blood sausage. Oh, fabulous. No, no, that's not the kind of blood I mean. This one looks like the side of Kip's face. Yeah. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> I just say, there may be one left, sir. Ganela. Sit and let's talk. Or else I will have to make you, and I really don't. If I hear her, I'm going to start walking over in that direction. Sure. Make me? Sit and talk. You said yourself you haven't been up there in a while, and let me tell you, when we came down here, they might blame you for what's going on. I might blame you for what's going on. What's going on where? Up there? Brian, describe your character. I'm not sure what's going on up there that um, I would be involved in. So you see starting to walk towards your direction over here. Um, <laughs> a tall man who is wearing a gray cloak, almost absent entirely of color. So um, very pale, very white, uh, very tall and thin. Um, and it almost just like he is just, there's, there's, it's just black and white. Like grayscale person walking <laughs> your direction. Um, Galena, who is this you're talking to? What are you doing here? I yell out to her, all I see is strange people with you. I see people that are not even people. How you, do I know you that? You talk too much. <laughs> we, and we ask the questions here. You come in front of us here, and perhaps we will let you live. Otherwise, you die now. I'm not coming out. I don't know who you people are. I can see him clearly enough, right? Uh, that was the Baron. We mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, 
I roll. I will count you, to you know, you already one. did roll. A uh, one. Uh, <laughs> with your, your two. passive perception is, yeah, with passive perception 19. Uh, you yes. don't see him clearly. You see a figure in the shadows. Um, but your, I think your roll was an 11, correct me if I'm wrong. You see a figure in the shadows, okay. but you okay. don't, he's not, you know. Okay. I'm going to use Thaumaturgy to start making him hear, like, skittering behind him. Like, footsteps behind him. As though there's multiple sets of footprints walking towards, behind where he is. Like, coming up behind him. Okay. There is more of us than you may believe. (laughs) You are surrounded. Is there, is there, uh, like, am I against a wall, or am I, is there space behind me? Kind of I mean, at there the might top be of a couple stairs. couple feet. Yeah. I see there's a lot of you here. I'm not sure <clears throat> why you're all here and what happened. All of a sudden you're all coming back from the dead. I see it, someone like you who I don't even recognize. I grow tired of these conversations. <laughs> I am a tired old man. I do not have much time left. This is your last chance. You may live. Or you may die. I'll when take my chances in the shadows. That you're old? Where, where have you been? Have you been playing the same game with us? <laughs> 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 I mean... <laughs> I took you for... Considerably nah. younger than that. <laughs> He's been old like 80% of the time, and then there was like a little bit of time where like he got younger. Yeah, after I, after I like sucked the blood out of that one guy, you remember? <laughs> and then I got much younger again. <laughs> um. I suppose my eyes have not been paying attention. Or perhaps it is that I am confused because I do not have enough blood in my brain. I am not sure. You're Excuse back. Excuse me, but I feel as though I might just need to pass out again. <laughs> Matthias <laughs> is up. Don't do that. I don't have any more spells. <laughs> I only have a fourth level. I want to use it. I think everybody is up. Baldur uh-huh. is not physically yeah, there. Not do Baldur, yeah. um, but everybody is up. Everybody hears this conversation going on. You hear it going on. Obviously, you see everyone else. You do know that they were using potions to raise them. They're not coming up like some form of undead right. or something like that. So you did hear spells being cast right. and potions being poured. I'm going to continue to keep walking forward. Mouth. Steadily okay, you continue forward. to walk forward. I think it's a slight, he's up on a slight raised okay. up area to you, <laughs> yep. but, but you could climb up it fairly easily. Um, it, it's So you do see this, this, what he described figure, and you might be able to see him in the, in the image over here in this stark white kind of 1930s horror <laughs> picture-esque <laughs> looking figure coming toward and it coming toward him. Um, what are you guys doing? This is your last chance. Why is everybody yelling? I listen, there doesn't need to be hostilities here. We've already had so much combat. Uh, he could be one of them. It sounds to me like the poor man just wants some gold. Can and we just give him some I gold? Yell, We're swimming I yell out, it. That's all I want. This is the only place that we have as a secure location to stay in the city. You're just going to let him take some gold and oh, walk no. out and report us. I didn't say let him walk out. I said give him some gold. <laughs> he I believe he's only gold. already Because now we some. can't let him leave because he knows where all the rest he, of the gold is. But I give mean, him some. And maybe he has already taken. Some I do not display. believe we should maybe be giving anybody be gold. Perhaps quo. if he has something to offer in exchange, right. maybe there could be we a could quid give pro quo gold. here. Yeah. Come forward. Uh, I do not ask a second time. Oh, would you stop being so angry? I, I, between, <laughs> between, between you looking like death, <laughs> and your friend, who, after told me she would not harm me shot something at me and uh, severely torched my clothing. <laughs> I'm not very happy about coming out. I'd rather stay in the shadow. She's a little all worked up. She just had a major life event happen. Aye, and we were attacked by many a hidden figure down here. And we need to make sure that you are not part of the organization that just attacked us. I'm not part of the organization. I showed her my arms like she asked. But you are yet in a sewer. I mean, are we not in the sewer as well? For gold. Why are you in the sewer? I mean, I'm in the sewer for 
people? We do you ask a lot of questions, questions and you so have you. a lot of demands. <laughs> <laughs> I have, have, I have no demands. I only had one ask. To take some golden leaf. Keep. I have no other demands. You must put an end to this. Uh, Matthias, go get him. Matthias, take care of this gentleman. <laughs> I... Just, you don't, don't, don't kill him. One moment, let me get, make sure my head I does not I can spare him once much. he is down. Okay. <laughs> All right, it is mostly stable. Okay. Uh, I mean, oh, here's there? my sword. It's on the ground. I'm going to laugh so hard <laughs> when he takes out Matthias, though. When you take Matthias out. Who? Where have you been? This gentleman that is talking here. He's Take him out. Oh, yeah. has a lot of blood. <laughs> no, I'm supposed I to stand here. Still doesn't look any yes. Excuse me, sir. I'm very sorry about this. But in my current state, <laughs> I'm not in a position to really object to any moral uh, violation that I might be might be committing in doing this. Normally, I would be, uh, I, would, uh, I would be seriously weigh the consequences. Uh, That's uh, why. Uh, As he's talking, soul, the shadow the hands are starting to come up. <laughs> the shadow hands are coming up from the shadows around him. <laughs> around who? Around him? I don't know if she'll touch him. While Mattias is doing this. Okay. <laughs> so if you excuse me, I'm going to have to, uh, to stick you like a pig. <laughs> Okay, you see this figure in a tin can a set of armor, well polished, <laughs> amazingly clean in this sewer, um, moving toward you. And uh, at the same time, there's this kind of this wispy tendril, necrotic tendrils forming at your feet. What are you doing? I'm going to do a cunning action and dash. Oh, okay, you got it. Move. Where are you going? Somewhere where there, I can you, get away from it. You see the map. Oh. You move so where you want to move You're up here. You're at the yeah. top of the stairs. You can, like, jump down this side and go this yeah. way. I mean, wherever I, wherever the darkest I can get away from these guys. That, wherever that, I think. Jumping down and going that way yeah. would be away. Okay. My friend. Us. The darkness is my friend. <laughs> I don't and know. I, I already rolled a 19 to hit, so... Okay, so these tendrils, as you you are moving, and these tendrils lash up and roll your damage. As you do, you continue to move on. They don't hold them in place, do they? No, uh, no. no. Ten so the damage. tendrils, you feel these necrotic, necrotic tendrils damage. kind of wrap around you as you dodge off and you move whatever your distance. Move your, whatever your are uh, I, I feel the 10 I have to use, right? Well, that's nah, that, that is that's gone probably now. one. Okay, oh, should I move 30? I don't know what the... It's five, five yeah. feet per hex. All good. All right. Close enough. Yeah, that's, close. So you're over there. You quickly dodge across the room or dash across the room. As these tendrils, you felt them leaping at your backside and they kind of wash away. Mattias, you're walking up, kind of swinging your sword <laughs> lazily, and the figure Do disappears. slowing down? I am... Too tired to so run at the He hit moment. me for 10, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 You saw tendrils hit you. Uh, right. Uh, you, uh, no, right. Okay. You so don't, I don't know if you know where they came from or not. No, no, I mean, for 10, I got hit for 10, so I, yes, I yes, got, yes. I'll take another potion. It does nothing. The, the healing potion does nothing. Really? Oh, because yeah. he did. I hit you with oh, chill, touch, chill touch, so it does nothing. I really am sorry yeah. about this, but I have a pounding headache, and it's yeah, making me not really care about the moral the implications yeah, of okay. murdering you in cold blood. Oh, okay. So, can you please just stand still and, me, and let me eat, and then let me rest afterward? <laughs> I, I, I promise I will have a some very severe moral <laughs> crisis once I am more lucid. And I yell out again. All I want to do is leave. Just let me leave. I want nothing. I want no trouble. I want no no problems. I just want to leave. I'm perfectly happy with the gold that I have in my pocket. If you have nothing to hide and no ill will, why can't you just speak to us before you leave? I'm speaking to you now. Go ahead. No. I will not come out. Let so us far see you. so far I've gotten hit <laughs> by something since my clothing and something just slashed me. I I don't trust you guys. We are only You're not very friendly. Because you have not come out to the light. You've been in the shadows where we cannot see your attention, your, your hands, acting. or any of your. I showed actions. you my. I showed you my hands, like you've asked. But every time I gave you a potion, you hit me with something. I showed you my hand, <laughs> something hit me. All just I get, nothing. There's you have not been so truthful, and you guys are all just liars. I think that's the word. 
How can I trust you to come out when I have done nothing? I have not attacked you in any way and actually gave you a potion and you've done nothing but to attack me. How can I trust you? You're you down steal here. from the missus. That's what you do. And you do not steal from the missus. I didn't steal anything. She said I could take. You stole from the When missus. I said I would hand it to you, and you took it anyway. Hand to take oh. potato potato. I guess I'm learning who you are. Thief. Thief. And then I come closer. Borrower. I, I resent that moniker. <laughs> Thief borrower. <laughs> <laughs> Acquirer of things. Clothes. It depends how you look at it. Which are generally not used anymore what because they're extremely old and primitive and barbaric. What's it, what's this a is, thief would have his hand cut off. I don't know what he's going on about. Right <laughs> We're all going crazy right now. So far, the only one who have not been honest here is you. I have done everything you've asked me to do. Perhaps we do not have to be honest with you. You come into where we are. I... You have no ownership or no claim over anything here. I get very angry. I said, listen, while you're lying there dead and dying, I helped your friend by giving her a potion. I am about to so add if it wasn't for me, you probably would have been dead by I'm now. I'm about to add another. Kid. I would like to see you try. <laughs> do you <laughs> so the only person who, who has been fair here is do me. Do you happen to have some way to I think I have been fair. I promise I that, when, that when I am uh, okay, okay, once again in my right him. mind, I will have a severe spare. moral crisis over, you, over the, the matter of my having enough. slaughtered you mercilessly because of my headache. I was Okay. I'm gonna sneak up behind the Baron and start like, patting him down, oh. looking for that blood sausage because I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's in here. Oh. Oh, that's lower, the other pocket. <laughs> 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 As you guys are debating away with one another <laughs> and continuously verbally sparring back and forth and back and forth, endlessly back and forth. <laughs> um, where is can we right just now. do initiative so we can just move? Like, sure, sparring. everybody roll initiative, <laughs> please. <laughs> Natural 20. Okay. He's so speedy. Natural 20. Ooh. Your dex is going to be mine, I'm sure. Got a 15. Mark, start right. Oh, uh, 13. Possible. It's Khalilah's job. What? It's Khalilah's job. Oh. No, it's my job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've done <laughs> my time. It off. I've done my time. Oh, snap. I need water. I need some water. It's not working. Yeah, my dex is uh, yeah. seventeen. Y yeah, you yeah, you go before me. And the Mattias is all martial stats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's raw power. So you, you got a twenty with what? What was your? I got a uh, oh, it actually comes out to a nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> I just said I rolled it. And put 20. opponents on there at eighteen. Oh no. Oh, boy. I knew it. Oh, more poop monsters. Wait, you said you're what now? You're, are you I'm a 19. Oh. Mattius is a 20. Oh. Opponents, I guess. Opponents 18? were... 18? 18? Um, mm -hmm. I, I was 15. You. You're 18? 15. 15. 15. 23. Uh, What's your deck? Oh, you got a 23 as well? Oh, wait, who has 15? No, no, you no, have 15. Oh, yeah, you're I have 13. You want yeah, my deck is 20. Uh, my deck is 20. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> I have 13. I'm oh, you're 13. Oh, okay. okay, you're 13. All right. So, Kip is first. What do you do? Sound like Helen. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, no, I, I apologize. 15. That's right. I didn't see the initial. Oh, what's 15. Your dex? Uh, my dex is 15. So, like, Ko is going to charge in. Oh, I'm before you. Uh, and he's going to try to. Attack. You're much higher level, so probably you are. Oh. I'm also very. So, you're 15. Yeah. Not 13. Sorry. So, 23 to hit. Oh, holy Toledo. What the 
at your door. Okay. Kip, you are up. Yep, so. You, the chaos has suddenly unleashed itself. <laughs> and you look around and you see something starting to move in the water. Oh, no. Just in front of you. Oh, boy. Mattias, you are on deck, followed by the Baron, followed by Naldo, followed by Galena. I'm sorry, Baron, followed by Naldo, followed by Galela, followed by Crew. Crew. Did I say that right, Crew? Yes. Kip, what are you doing? All right, what do I see in the water? You don't see any, you see movement. Slurring around. Hi. Right. Gents, we might have more poop monsters upon us, but I'm going to send like Koa after. Uh, I can get to him. Um, so that's gonna be. I'm gonna attack him. Um, is that 12 hit? No! Oh, like how it chomps away um, and misses! So, like how I'll strike again. That's even worse. So he's gonna miss again. You see this giant bluish wolf! Trying to chomp away at you and failing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shoot him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is there more than Oh, yeah, oh the wolf is yeah. Kip, anything else? Oh, uh, uh, no. Kip's, well, Kip will move himself. Just since he sees the movement down in this area, right? Yes. Yeah, he's just going to back up a little bit. And that's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That name. is Kip. Mattias, you are on up. And the Baron is on deck. Mattias, you saw Kip leaning over the water, kind of looking at it, wondering what the heck is going on down in the water there. You also saw Lycoa dart over at the and toward the new person who uh, identified himself as Kroof. Lycoa chomped away at Kroof, but didn't make contact. You're standing probably 30 feet from Kroof and eh, maybe 40 feet, 40 feet from Kroof and and whatever, another 40 feet from whatever Kip was looking at. Mattias, what are you doing? Okay, so... The Baron, you were on deck. Kip was looking at the water, you said? Yeah. Kip did, briefly. Yeah, I said, I think there might be more poop monsters upon us. Mattias was somewhat wrongly stride on over. Do I see anything? <laughs> you stride over to where Kip was looking. Sure, move his figure over. Um, yes, just as you look down into the water, something emerges and starts to come up ah, was right. towards you. You see this green, large feces covered and thing with little plastic bottles and all other myriad of sewage come reaching up out of the sewage toward you. Should have let me go. <laughs> what are you doing? And then we could have figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, about two feet. Yeah, you're right there. It's right up on you. <laughs> huh? Stab it in the face. Okay, roll away. You stab away. Uh, that is an 18 plus uh, 11. <laughs> so oh, of hit. course you hit. Yeah. Um, it's a D8 plus 8, so that's 12 damage. 12! It is still up. Somebody keep track for me, please. Uh, and then my second and third attacks are a 13 and a 19. And both! Uh, the 19 hits! Wham! You jab into it! Okay, then that is another 13 damage. Sounds good! That is Mattias. You used your movement. The Baron is up. The... Bad creatures are on deck, followed by Naldo, Galela, then Kruf. So the um, those the shadowy tendril hands are still wrapped around them. They're gonna continue okay. to attack them again with another chill. Attack Kruf? Yes. Understood. Uh, twenty-three to hit. Ow! 
guessing that. Proof, I think you got hit. Huh? Well, that's not damage. That's just a hit. It doesn't matter. I have one point. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, okay. Kroof goes down right. unconscious. He falls like, oh, I see he's Kroof. Standing there with these tendrils wrapped around him, and he falls to the ground. That is Kroof. My Koa. A rather... Uh, over here. That is right the Baron. The Correct? Anything else, Baron? Um... No, that's it. The opponents at this point, this one lashes out. It, his huge tendril, he's got three targets right there. His huge tendril just reaches out across and goes after number one, if you will. Hey, Tom, you know what I'll do is I'll just no, gonna use my movement. I'm just gonna use my movement to come up over here. That's all. Okay, understood. Yeah. That is, it goes after Mattias is swinging away, and I don't have everything set up for this, so we're just gonna wing it here. Okay, we swing, it swings away, and it, this tendril tries to wrap around you, Mattias, and it fails, and then it reaches up and tries to grab you with one of the smaller ones. A natural 20, give me a critical card, please. Oh, Somebody. They're over there, they're over there today. And. Yeah. Does this work? Yes, it does. You take... Well, look at that. You can't make that roll up. Four what? You, you take 14 oh, points of damage. And you... 14 points of damage, Mattias. You are dead What did you say? You rolled four ones? Is that what you said? Yes, I did. Oh, really? Yeah, I did. <laughs> maximum With damage. Dice. Oh, well, it wouldn't have mattered. It was maximum Sorry. damage, but it still oh. wouldn't have. Because he's down, he said. Yeah. Okay, Mattias is down and out. I only had the nine hit points. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, none of us really have a lot of hit points. <laughs> wow. We all got well, one we potion worth of hit points. Hmm? I forgot. I forgot. I we forgot we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is uh, the bad guys right now. Naldo is up. Galela is on deck. All right, I'll. Uh, I'm gonna back up a little. Take out the hand crossbow. Sharkshooter. Okay. Nice guy, Sharkshooter. Natural 20. Natural nice. 20 on, on the Pick a good one. Pick a good one. Come on. Come on. We need the triple. other one was a, four, was a 40. That's why. You needed Double one. damage. Double damage right. to Quick it. Sharkshooter. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That's, that's fine. That's great. Okay. So. Six plus 15 is 20. Seventy-eight points of damage. <laughs> oh, this this arrow know, rips right into this creature, and you just see it like slither back down into the water. Like one hundred and three to okay. brings the total to one hundred and three. You just see it slither <laughs> back down into the water at this point. Can we please imagine going, go oh, now? I imagine the poop monster going. Oh shit. <laughs> You guys are there. Right, I'm going to go up to Mattias and I'll cast Spare the Dying on oh, awesome. Mattias. And then I'll go over to our new friend over here and cast Spare the Dying. Okay. All right. And then I will pick him up. Uh, what was his name? What's your name? What's your name? Kroof. But like, Ho is going to be and all I'll like licking Kroof up on his up, face. So when you wake and I'll up, I'll carry him <laughs> out over here into like the middle of this little area over here where we all originally were. And like I said, I cast Spare the Dying on him. So you don't. there's no death saves or anything like that. You're stable. And I'm just gonna lay him down amongst the group here. Am I okay? So I'm, you're I'm unconscious. unconscious. Okay. You're unconscious, but you can't you can't die. Are you gonna come over there, Galena? I don't want to move you unless you're planning yeah. on going with the rest. Okay. Yeah. 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 okay. And is there any way that we can get Mattias back up? What do we have left? I don't have anything. Yes, that's it. I'll be tapped out. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's alright. We're gonna. Uh, I will kill him. No I'll start searching the ground. Ground pockets. pockets, right? No matter. Search his pockets. Too, but <laughs> you have to wait. Uh, potions. Well, you don't know that. Yeah, no, well, we're, we're searching your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> do I find? Do I so find you search through his pockets. You ro get roll me a d twenty. Me? Proof. Yes, please. Oh, sorry. Wrong guy. Five. You find five gold pieces in his pocket. Okay. <laughs> and you find uh, some potions in his pocket. 
it All is right. pouches. I'll just drop the gold back on his chest, considering we're surrounded by piles of it. You have to take one at least. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> leave, leave the and uh, I will tie him up, though, before anything. I'll, I'll tie give, his hands in his feet. I'll give you one to give Mattias. Okay. Oh, I think, uh, oh, you want to give one to Mattias, right? Yeah. yeah. 2d4 plus 2. Tie him up before I give it to him. Or? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mattias, eight points of healing. No, no, another two D four plus out. two for you. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, back. I don't know who it was. That the cheeses kicked in. Yes. Lots of cheeses. Tom. Awesome. Okay. Now we can. We can all discuss what is happening here. Galela, you finished the mistress. You are now the head of the organization. You must take control. This is your domain. This Friends, is exactly you have what, arrived at a very This is exactly time. what we needed to help fund the army and to supply us with an organization that can help Kip with his promise that he had made. You and say, just... we need soldiers. <clears throat> You are awake. Now, who do I see first? Probably me. I'm probably over you pouring the potion in your mouth. The Baron. <laughs> the Baron. You see, right off to your left front, <laughs> the Baron, this shockingly white 1930s horror character. You see, uh, probably Naldo. Mm -hmm. Describe uh, Naldo. Uh, young, like late 20s, uh, 5'11, uh, dirty blonde hair, uh, roguish, very. Uh, happy-go-lucky, like, always a smile on his face. So I'm pouring the potion into your mouth, like, it is okay, friend. They are all worked up. Do not worry about it. It'll be okay. All and right. you see a monkey on top of a pile of gold. <laughs> Collecting eyeballs. I, I, so I'm, um, I, can I jump up? Or uh, your hands and your feet are tied. Oh, my hands and my feet. So mm -hmm. I, struggling, I yell, untie me, you bastards. I give you my word, as Naldo Renzi, you will leave. Means the nothing to me. Now I that off. I take great offense. I rip off. <laughs> you <laughs> have not, you have not heard of Naldo oh, Renzi. Now, now, now. I'm, I'm ripping. Have out you the heard right of the city of Genoa, the grand city? I'm his mouth. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna bind his mouth closed. I'll just get up and like walk care. over and start like kicking through some I don't care anymore. coins. <laughs> <laughs> the Baron does not care. Um, we have other just things like recanting all your tales in the background. <laughs> yeah, like, You're watching the Carpathian and <laughs> Seven Side of Die, and when the DM thought everything was going to go right, everything went completely off. <laughs> the party is in the sewers of Paris still. <laughs> and. Uh, we I know, I know. will be right back. <laughs> My name is Jumnus Dawnflower. I used to be a merchant sailor until I was shipwrecked on a strange island and killed in a sacrificial blood ritual. In the moment between life and death, an otherworldly goddess of light came to me, offering me a second chance at life if I swore to enact her will upon the world. Now I travel with the champions of the sun, looking to right wrongs, vanquish evil, and earn the new life I've been given. Aha! Hello, friends! You can call me Luvia Moreau. I come from the beautiful country of France, of course! Traveling as a salesman, banished from my home, where by the hand of my twisted sister, my father was killed, and I was implicated. Mon dieu, how low I've come. But in that law I found the champions of the sun. Although they may not smell like sweet wine, they are honorable. Uh, mostly. My name is Virexen. I am a monk who was exiled into Greece after fleeing my homeland. I was sent on a quest via a dream I received. I went in search of great heroes I saw in the dream to help stop some monstrosity from wreaking havoc across the world. I found those heroes in the Champions of the Sun. 
Now I strive to gain their trust so they can one day help me defeat the vile beast that threatens everything. I'm Aldrich, and while I grew up an urchin in the narrow confines of Venice, I never seemed to fit in there. Except for this music box, my past is hidden to me. Now north of the Alps, I feel I'm close to home, wherever that might be. Near the Utersberg Mountain, I discovered these intrepid adventurers. Though they're blazing a dangerous path, perhaps they might help me discover who I really am. I am Mikolash, a monk from Romania, and sometimes too curious for my own good. My scars tell only part of the tale. Having witnessed cannibalism in my village as a child, I fled never to return. On my own, I stole from others to survive. A monk caught me and offered me a better way, but I abused their kindness. Now I walk alongside the champions of the sun. Will they be my own undoing? What have I finally found the path I was meant for? I am Borinth, the cave bear. I come from a tribe of barbarians that once lived in the mountains of the Badenweiler. While on my sacred spirit quest, my tribe and family were attacked with none left alive. I now seek the power to avenge my people. With my rage, I grow stronger. And with the champions of the sun, I seek a path to restore and preserve my people's culture and rid this world of any evil that stands in my way. From the kingdom of Aragon, I am Zyman Vall. I ventured forth with few possessions and little coin, save an ancient tomb I searched to decipher. But I've struggled to find clues, and at times, food. While freezing in the Alps, fate crossed my path with a shining knight and the champions of the sun. Having aided me in a desperate time, they have earned my service and my friendship. Now, using my wizardry, I fight by their side. I am Edric and I am from England. I spent most of my youth in the Navy. Climbing the ranks, I was granted land and title. However, I did not fit in. A heretic to most. I fled, leaving my wife and children behind. In the city on mines, I met a group that changed my life forever. The Champions of the Sun. In time, perhaps they might help me reunite with my family. The party, the champions of the sun, are in the sewers under Paris. They had just fought a huge battle, and then they met a new character, a rogue-like character, and ended up fighting another battle amongst, in and amongst the battle that they're fighting with themselves. <laughs> and, we, and we rejoin them. We rejoin them in progress. You guys are still in the sewers. Kroof, you are bound, but you can talk. As best I know, can you still talk? Yeah. We can still talk, and what are you guys doing? I keep on yelling, let me out, <laughs> untie me. Perhaps you can get some answers from him, because every time I speak... I do not believe he offers any answers to us. We have other things to worry about. Like he is what? just a mere thief coming to steal from you. He has stolen from you. This is yours now. 
Why do you keep saying that? Because this is how these things work. I you did not steal leave, anything. You cannot leave a criminal organization without yeah. a leader. She said he could take some. She did say that. Yeah. He that took it on his own, from my understanding, from what I heard. I mean, she was going I mean, to give I it gave to her him. a potion. I mean, it's this semantics. Is not, this is I gave her a potion. Um, I, I, it's, oh my God. It's, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's I'm going to take a rag, I'm going to tie it around his mouth, and I'm going to gag him. No, but if you really think about it, he gave her a healing potion. I can't breathe. And only took five gold. That's a 45 this gold is discount. Not, <laughs> <laughs> this was not the discussion here. I, I mean, the that's... problem is, is that this is a secret location, a secret organization. What is to keep him from going and reporting back to where exactly Well, we either kill him is. or recruit him. That's our options here. Well, I vote for killing him, but <laughs> that is just... All in favor of killing the I, no <laughs> I am one of many. We must discuss some greater things at this point. I mean, we can kill him and then recruit him. I love that. We could do this too, and I. And yeah, I go. I, he could be at my bidding. The jaunt. <laughs> <laughs> um, the jaunt. The jaunt. I gagged him. I gagged him. Yeah, yeah, he's gagged. What are you talking about? Uh, the name of that woman that I killed. He doesn't know anything. He did not watch last week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Remembering the room where we were. Are we in the room where the bell happened and they were the bell and all the TV came out? That was. Jean effect. That's what it was. Inception right there. The missus. Um, yeah, the missus. Yeah, the Jean effect. The Jean. I mean, I don't know if I spelled it correctly. There's an X in there when somewhere, but. That's my favorite kind of monster. Where she the bell. <laughs> that was another room. Where she's the kid just sent me a message saying, Dad, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Delayla. You asked your what was the question? I remember we were in a certain area where there were bells and like more of the thieves came out. That was not this area. There's no like No, that was a different call. Well, you don't know. You haven't well, found anything, but you, no, you have not seen, throughout all of this that has happened, you have not seen any more of the of the prima soldi looking assassins who, they didn't have a uniform, but they seemed to be dressed very similar in terms of gray pants, a, a slightly grayish brown tunic, and a very and dark, almost black cloak. It's been kind of long ago. Did we come from this way or from that way? To get to we I came from remember. that way. You came from this direction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The map so flipped. So we're going to leave. Well, probably because there's a ladder no, that I, goes up. Can I do a check on, right the, the, on the knot? I don't know how good a tire Oh, uh, try, to, try to escape. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, do an investigation. Sure. 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 Let us discuss. Sure. <laughs> Are you up to being the head of these organizations? Don't do, do remember that the city guard oh. report You're to pretty the sure you can the probably missions. get out of them if you try. We are wanted by the city guard. I'm gonna, if, no, I, I, if nobody's I'm looking at go. me, since they're all having uh, this crazy I'm discussion, eight. I'm gonna try to... Eight, 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 to eight try points to, uh, to you right now. Get out of the... Okay. Ah, thank you. Yep. Sorry, I missed that. No, you're fine. Oh, I'm getting Keep it. going. Oh, mm -hmm. um, Rainer just came back. We were telling him how much uh, hit points he got. Okay. And so, what are you guys doing? Uh, Naldo's sifting through the piles of gold looking for anything. Please understand that the city guard <laughs> works for the mistress, and we are wanted by the city guard. I, I, I hate to agree with the battering here, but I do believe you are the new mistress. Yeah, you must accept it. We cannot leave an organization of this power and this size without a leader, because it will <clears throat> end up with a leader that we do not. What every woman in power needs is a good lieutenant. <laughs> I nominate Naldo. I have never seen someone with such skill at that killing was me Pokemon. Laughing, not <laughs> the, the first act of your reign, besides making Naldo your lieutenant, <laughs> is to figure are you acts of mercy or acts of roll a ruthless? stealth? And then roll an acrobatics check. Um, 18. And. and uh, 20. But not a natural 20. Okay. So. 
you very cautiously untie them. Um, By the way, my passive perception is a 19. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> you, you noticed him like, I rolled shifting the roll, around. Yeah, the roll, the tw- I rolled a natural 20 to, to before that, no? So wow. I'm going to say that you managed to very subtly start to undo them. Roll an insight check, though. Probably would have been higher than a 22 because your ability mark. No. Well, the yeah. 20, no, the natural you know 20 is Let's just move on. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, what am I, where am I wrong? An insight check, please. What is that? A D20. Oh, insight. Oh, okay. That's an eight. Okay. Um, okay. And you managed to get them undone. You managed to get them undone. You're, you think you you think that you were fairly surreptitious. I put some gold in my pocket. First thing, because I'm a thief. Well, I'm lying down. I'm trying to be. So I'm still you, trying to be stealthy without. So they somehow don't see you it. manage. You're laying. There's gold everywhere. You find without even moving your hands. You reach behind your back and you find a, 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 little, a few pieces and you take them and you can actually kind of shove them in your pants. It's kind of hard to without bringing your hands up. Right. Are you going to bring your hands up? No, 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 no. I'm going to try to make believe, like, keep them down as much as I can. Okay. Trying to see still, like, I'm tied up. Stiff. Your feet are still tied, but your hands are untied. Oh, okay. I mean, you can't, without, you'd have to move your hands down to Well, that's feet. what I'm saying. Are they in any way paying attention to me or because they're having these discussions? Uh, I, think, I think it's a combination. Everybody's glancing around. I mean, they're not ignoring you. I mean, mm-hmm. correct, you guys tell me. Uh, no, I would, no, I mean, I, at least I would. I mean, you're not ignoring sure him, um, but I'm kind of ignoring him because he didn't know who Nalda Renzi was. Okay, there you go. <laughs> One, you see Nalda is so. ignoring. <laughs> Roll another insight check. Um, uh, Thirteen. Okay, um, you do kind of realize that if you do something aggressive, you're probably going to be beaten unconscious and probably <laughs> killed. <laughs> well, I'm not looking to okay. do anything. Right? I'm, I'm just, just trying to run. That that goes <laughs> yeah. through your head. You do with it what you want. Okay. Right. Okay. Got it. Uh, uh, can I clarify that I have searched Dejan's um, person, like her dead body, make sure I have everything. If there are any seals that maybe could be used to, you know, as representation of the organization or like a pass to get through, like to splash it, a badge, anything. I want to make sure. So, let me just kind of recap. You found mounds and mounds Mm -hmm. of gold. You're laying on some of it there. It's clearly evident that it was a massive hoard. Mixed in, there are jewels, pearls, precious vases, enameled trinkets, various baubles. You you also found um, what rolled out of Darjan's hand, a small item and it looks almost like a tiny clay book but it's not a book you recognize it immediately as a what is called an amulet kitab Mm -hmm. continuing on going through the other stuff um, and you know that it's magical of some sort continuing on going having gone through the other stuff you you know that you found um, also in the pile of, of, of gold, you found an ancient, untwisted, about five foot long shaft. It's a wooden shaft, roughly one inch round. It still bears some flowering petals on the shaft of wood. The petals are white with little reddish brown stains on them. Anyone roll a nature check? Probably all you, Kip. You think? I'm not sure. Should it? Maybe. Yeah. Not really. Plus one. Yeah. Yeah, that's five. <laughs> Come on! Okay. Twenty years. <laughs> nice. Plus one. Um, Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. The Baron looks over at it. It's intelligence, guys. I'm not that. It's not that. <laughs> it looks like it's there. It's just not there. It's the accent. Bees do. Why? 
The Baron Beesdom, sorry. Beesdom. <laughs> the Baron sees someone manipulating the large staff, and you recognize it as a dogwood tree. Oh, my favorite tree. Anyone else looking at it? I mean, I'm looking at it, but. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at it. I don't know what it is. I mean, old, old <laughs> stuff is kind of what Naldo is into and finding, so. Do I'll I definitely take an interest. Do in I that. see? Do I see? You tell me if you are looking at it. Do I see what they're doing or no? Yeah, sure you do. I have two dogwoods in my yard. This one higher than one. Yeah, it's a fifteen. I'm sorry. So you did see it, Galela. As you see the dogwood branch, a line in Naldo's book. Or Simon's book. Or Simon's yeah. book. I'm sorry. That's okay. In Simon's book bounces around in your brain the shaft yet stained with blood the petals marked the same yet twisted forevermore its family ever barks their name. But I remember that too, because I think I have the book. No, I have it. I don't know. I don't know. One of you guys have it. You trade it back, uh, back and forth. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you've read it. Yeah. And so is Bald. Yeah. You found, in addition, you found a massive book. A huge leather home but it only has you can see from the edge only six thick leather pages in it in raised gold letters the title says Le Temps Hicno or Time Flashes continuing on among the other items that you found you found a book called what and measures. It seems to be a book about weights and measures. Does anybody read it? I read it. Okay. You pick it up and you start flipping through it. And you find references to rods for measuring distance. Okay, understood. Um, and there was the the rapier that I picked up, yeah. right? The plus, I think you said it was plus two. Or it was Mattias, or not Mattias. Um, Kip, Naldo <laughs> found a rapier, and it's extremely light. It's very easy to manipulate. It's also wickedly, wickedly sharp. Uh, you might need some help identifying it mm -hmm. and clarifying what it can do. From what it looks like, do do I think it fits the description of the uh, s the saber of Farak Albin? From what you what it looks like, you absolutely are absolutely positive. Wow, it is not. It is not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. Awesome. The answer I'm looking at it fun awesome. tonight. <laughs> Hit that. Not what I'm looking for. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there was also a there, shield, right? Yes, there was. There's this, a battered small shield made of steel with cross bands. It appears to be battered, but it is also it's just unusually finely crafted. You suspect that it is also magical. In addition, you found a a huge um, a huge sword, or Balder, I think he picked it up, a huge sword, so heavy that it literally takes two hands to pick it up. It is just incredibly, incredibly heavy. Um, and you suspect that it is also magical, and it, it is very, very sharp as well. 
obviously you found a lot of gold. Everybody roll, anybody who's looking at the gold, give me yeah. an investigation check with, you know. Nine, 17, 19. 19. 13. 13. Okay. Um, what'd you roll? What though? Okay. What'd you roll? <laughs> 17? 16. You? 16. Uh, uh, you guesstimate that there's probably, you look at it and you go, there must be easily 600,000 gold here. How much, what did you roll? You rolled a two. You look and you're like, nah, there's like 200,000 gold at the most. And what'd you roll? 17. 17, you look and you go, I think there's closer to 17, uh, um, closer to 700,000 gold here. And you look over and you go, I just see copper. <laughs> what did you roll? Sure a 19. You look, there's got to be close to 900,000 gold here. And Mattias? 900,000. Mattias 900, was asleep. 43 cents. 900,000. 43 cents. Okay. What'd you roll? What about me? What'd you roll? What'd you roll? 13. Oh, 13. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. You look and you think there's. No, you're like, no, it's 300,000 gold easily. Make sense? Oh. Okay. What are we supposed to do with it? Uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, can I hold on to the staff? You mind if I hold on to the staff? I could, for this amount of gold, I could probably buy keys. Do you mind if I hold on to the right there? Oh, did you? Do you mind what? if I hold on to the gold? What well, about, the, the, what about the shield? <laughs> we obviously cannot move all of these gold. No. But this is... A base of operation of an organization that must continue onward. We cannot allow this organization. Did the mistress wear any (laughs) rings or necklaces? Do I hear this conversation? Absolutely, you hear all of this conversation. I I pull down my uh, my mouth. My mouth. So you expose your hands. Yeah, and I pull down my mouth thing. I said, and I yell to the baroness, and I have friends that can help you move this gold. I gacked his mouth. He he got it. I really tied my hands. He goes away. With my new staff. <laughs> <laughs> we are trying to move forward here. If this hoard is real, Wait, he's got friends. Buy a city. He's got friends that can help us move the gold. Oh, yeah. A small city. That's what he said. In the east. But do we need to move We do not need to. That's what I just said. We do not need to move it. I take. We, I find a but tiny how do we chest, protect it? Because that looks like a tiny chest. I'm gonna get, like, what if I could see the a tiny chest? Of this and I'm just gonna they would have stolen sure it from her. <laughs> You find a tiny chest and you stuff, stuff it with, it with pearls and gems, yeah. which seem even more valuable. Any even diamonds. because all of the coins Any look diamonds. like copper to you. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <they all look laughs> copper. Give me the diamonds. <laughs> I'll take all the diamonds. You rummage around, you find y'all. diamonds, and you find gems, and all manner of cash. And you are loose. You pulled your hands down. Your feet are still bound. The Baron, are you bunching no, him? No, you're not punching him. Okay, you're hover you're there, you announced to them, what are you guys doing? We should I, leave. I have an we idea of who can watch. I, what what was that thing that, that to 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 melded back into the buildings that we were gonna call to help us with the dragon? Ooh, Could he right. watch over? What is it that we used? What did he give us the The, the, the like troll. The, we the, just had to call giant? his name. Yeah, the giant. Oh, we just had to call his Yeah. What about no, he's supposed to help us. But could he watch this? I mean, I'm sure he could, but then that might negate our bargain. We may not need him for that. But who did? The dragon? But who's gonna? Okay, that's. This is the big problem. The dragon is coming. I mean, we need to figure this out and move on. Okay. Right now we've got a problem. Kind of, sort of. Well, we do nothing to deal with this problem. Right do you, do you not think we'll word will travel? That we we must call in the organization. We must bring their attention to did, us did we kill to them? show them who is the new heir to to the organization. Okay. I do not believe that the organization continues to gain wealth, and mm-hmm. they are continue to be paid for their participation. The gold will be safe. We can figure it from there. Okay. Right? But is so I want to look around and see if like 
you know how they were they were ringing the bell like obviously somebody was ringing the bell and they were coming to you right so the opposite end of that but must be a mechanism before that... Before we do that, we should rest up. I mean, if they come and they just see it invented, somebody might challenge... But we are wanted outside the city. But somebody might challenge her for the rights of being the mistress, and we are okay. in no condition to then take on we... that challenge. Oh, okay. Right. Not yet, until we are maybe arrested. Okay. Right, and then we then we do that. Sure. Yeah, but the, the plan is sound, except I have 15. Oh. Well, I have less. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My point taken. Um... I need a place to go and pray. We well, must. There's plenty of places. <laughs> it's a big room. It needs to be a special place. It oh. needs to be Good mother. Oh, yeah. in the city. Oh. Oh. Why don't we, we see where that ladder goes? We can do this. Do we, do we leave? just leave this here? That's what the I problem. can watch it for you if you like. <laughs> <laughs> Church I'm, and see I'm how gonna far go, it is. I'm gonna it's go not over far, then we okay. can stay down while you go. Uh, I'm gonna, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go over to Kruv. I will, call, uh, I will come with you. And uh, I'll just say, um, listen, friend. Like, what is your story? We are in a predicament, and I don't want to see any bloodshed. I just want to, to figure that you know, if we let you go. That can be problematic for us. I'm sure you can understand uh, the situation, but I'd like to let you go. Um, how can I trust that letting you go would be a good decision for us? You're those rogue sorts. They cannot be trusted. Uh, what? Very what? easily. <laughs> I have, let me tell you, I can keep secrets very well. For a few, for a few pieces of gold, I can be your best friend. I can help you within the city. I know all the places to sneak around. I know all the places to hide. I've been in the city for a long time and hiding in the shadows. That's how I survived. I have no family. I have no, f I have friends and I have my shadows. I can help you get through the city by staying in the shadows. Just for a few pieces of gold, that's all I ask for. Ah, you see, just that that could be very beneficial to us, especially for the undertaking that the champions are going to have to take soon in this city. For a bargain that I've made. I have a lot of criminal contacts in the city that we can we can have a place, we can figure out where to store the gold. Again, a lot of people keep their mouth shut for a few pieces of gold. No guarantees, though. I mean, I can't speak like for anybody. We else. could hire him. To the do mistress it. did not stay in this room twenty-four-seven to protect her gold. Aye, the mistress had an entire organization, and that's what is what we should have now. But we have, there is no guarantee that the organization will follow the man. And I'm saying that this fine gentleman here um, could be bought. And we've bought many mercenaries before. And he sees that we would be good for our payments. Well, <laughs> but we have the gold to back up yeah, to back up the bargain. But I think he also knows that if he doesn't, we also have the means to make sure that our end of the bargain is held up. I'm not leaving this here just to hope that someone else will. Oh, but that's Take fine. Take care of this. He knows ways to move the gold and move around the city, which. We will need. I don't trust him. We don't have to trust him yet. He needs to earn our trust. But with some coin in his pockets, absolutely, I am sure that that trust can be earned. And if you'd like, or we, we can just keep doing this all day. We can purchase oh, some things and set up a lot of booby traps. <laughs> <laughs> if you like to, we can set up booby traps around this place. It won't stop everything, but it could definitely slow things down. Do you have any means to do that right now? Not with Just the not, not with the things that are here. Need equipment. I have I said I came looking for gold. I have some food and a dagger. That's maybe, all I can Maybe maybe Galila and I stay down here with Matthias and, and you, Naldo, and Kruf up here can go get some supplies, do what you need to do, and meet us back. Sure. 
I'm assuming if I can disarm traps, I can set traps. It's a quick split the target moment. Um, when I was searching around, did I see the other end of that like, alarm system that they sort of had built in? You rack the crevices of your mind and you suspect that um, it was in that room that was adjacent to the, uh, just to the left of the entranceway before you came in here. That the, whatever, the mechanism that they used to activate the alarm mm -hmm. was in that room that was off to the left hand side as you approached the main door that she was in. Okay. Is that, and I think you defeated some people in there. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. you even saw somebody ringing a mm -hmm. an alarm okay. at some point. Right. Yeah. yeah. When he was going under the water, I think he hit the alarm. Or yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. I was trying I to think if it ran back to this room, sort of like I'm trying it to like. It did, reverse but it was probably. Yeah. I mean, you you look around, and it might take you a little while, but you might see <laughs> a bell on this far wall, up probably ten feet in the air, coming. And you look, and there's a wire coming out of the wall to that bell. Perhaps if we rang the bell, they would come to us at some point. And we don't have to do this now. But we can go out to the surface and take our luck in the city. Please, with the guard. it is horrible we down here. Can we just go outside for a little? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and the Baron and Aldo uh, and if anybody else was going to come with us, we're going to go up above to the city. We're going to. But there was a ladder or somewhere around. Yeah, here, it's right? underneath the cavern. Yeah. <coughs> <it. laughs> But there was one that, well, the the head one that was guy that had the tattoos on. Him. I think, he, or at least the <laughs> I did kill him. I killed him. Yeah. He did. Yeah. Well, they were with so him. as they're talking, I untie my feet and I stand up. Killed a bunch of them. You untie your feet and you are standing. And I say, uh, I will gladly Untied come with you. He's not. <laughs> I, I will gladly come with you and show you how I hide in the shadows. But before I do, whoever stole all my potions, can you please give them back to me? No. I, I he, he stole check my pockets. He stole them. The man in the armor stole them. <laughs> you can take this. There you go. Oh, thank you, good sir. <laughs> you sure you never heard of Naldo Renzi? <laughs> the great. Awesome. Maybe he just doesn't recognize. It's, and it's Genoa? You've never Naldo. heard of the city of Genoa? I start to go to the ladder. You, you go to the ladder. <sighs> You don't leave it all. I want to look for the guard. But I killed the guard. One of, well, one of the guards that you were speaking to. I, if you'd like, I can go first. At least I know how to sneak around. If you trust me. If you don't, then I'll wait here. Do you want to stay down here? I can stay. If, if we must. Somebody should stay and watch. Right. We need a place to rest, too. I, this, this is safe I location. This is a great place for that. But to leave it abandoned and then come back and yeah, I found it. But you, you think I mean, this what happens if you really bother here? here. Rest. What happens if you? What happens if you no. come? Is, is no. people come? What is going to happen? But <laughs> if people come, what would you do by yourself? Oh, what would I do by myself? <laughs> You've never heard of the great Kip Kalen. You've not heard of the great Kip Kalen. I if, if it's <laughs> terrible so, Scottish accent. So uh, from part of you to be part of your group, everybody has to be a great, I guess. <laughs> Frozen in ice for years <laughs> until he was released again. <laughs> I guess it was literally for years. It was years. It was years. I mean, I saved the village from a plague. Yeah, <laughs> a great pandemic. Um, I will just say. Started by the party. If you can <laughs> <laughs> semantics. <laughs> semantics. <laughs> Pictures or it didn't happen. If you recognize any of the guards from. Before we came down here, hint at what happened. Maybe we can have some words. Send them here. Me and Kip will stay, or at least I will. If you don't have to, I will spread the word that the leadership Perhaps. has changed. Perhaps. That is the job of a good lieutenant. That is a, to let that everybody is a great know. Idea. That is a great idea. That, that great things idea. have changed. I know the circles to run around. And the crew, who happens crew to knows know all, the, in all, all the ins and outs of the city. Together, yes. we will spread the word. I can introduce you to all the criminals. Uh, I know a few. 
Uh, Naldo, can I can I task you with something if you do go up, up to the surface? Sure. Do you want some food? Uh, uh, that would be great too. Come, right. come, come to the Because I am starving. I, all right. All right. As a show of good faith, I take out like a raggedy piece of ration that I still have in my pocket left over. <laughs> Pickle and, and I and I, <laughs> I break it in half and I give him half of it. Uh-huh. Thank, thank, thank you. It's pretty. It, it would be something like Shib's bread, but I don't know if you know what Shib's bread. Is. Like hardtack. Yeah, hardtack. <laughs> yeah. Well, you are a mariner, so <laughs> yeah. I suspect you know a hardtack. Say, uh, they get seasick. <laughs> pull Naldo to the side and say, um, oh, "Listen, Naldo, um, I made a bargain to help the the army down down south, uh, and um, mm-hmm. this was with a, a mercenary." Uh, acquaintance that I have. Okay. And All it, right. uh, they saved the army. They got notice in time that Ghazi's army was uh, closing in on them. So we told Jumnus to move the army. And it appears that that was a relative success. Well, that is fabulous. It is, but bargains are two ways. Oh. And uh, uh, what was the price? <sighs> the price was that we need to either convince the Chancellor of France, Pierre Rudier, um, to allow my contact to move his trade that is not so favorable mm-hmm. to authorities okay. um, through the city. And if he is not willing, then he is to be replaced. I do not know this, Pierre. So your friend just needs passage through the city, or he needs to conduct business in the city without interference? Um, he needs passage without interference. Uh, however, I am told that there is a big profit for for the government here in taxes. Um, it is a it is a drug trade, no doubt. Oh. Um, but that was the price to save the army. What was his name again? Uh, Pierre Rodier. Pierre Rodier. Pierre Rodier. 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 The little thing Pierre about the E Rodier. because this is Pierre. Paris. Pierre um, Rodier. So I think I got this. He is okay. the Chancellor of France. Chancellor of France. Yes. He'll be here. All right. If um, if he is opposed, kill then him. He uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, I am told that his assistant. Anybody could do it. That his, also can do it. <laughs> I am told that his assistant Jean. Jean. Jean, is uh. Would like be considered an ally in this situation to benefit from Pierre's refusal. Like Jean of Arc? Uh, Jean. Just Jean. Jean. I wrote okay. down J E A N. As long as, it, as long as it's not Jean but of Arc, okay, we are okay. You, you know how sending stones can be sometimes, you know, a little hard to hear. Eh. Um, no, I don't. I haven't chosen one of those. Okay, okay. Well, they are. Take my word. Okay. Um, I, you know, and um, so I don't right. know much about this, but either. If the opportunity arises while you're up there, or at least information, maybe you can figure here, find out a little bit more about what that might entail. Pierre um, Rodier. Pierre Rodier. Because uh, Rodier. I, just, Rodier. Rod- I got it. 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 Okay. All right. Make him uh, accept the the trade. What's your friend's name? Uh, uh, Akushatma. Akushatma. Kushatma. Kushatma. Yes. Kushatma. 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 Okay, I said it right. Is it Farak Kushatma Kusagi? Yes. Yes. Kushatma. Kushatma. Farak Kushatma Kusagi. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> I haven't written it. I do have it. Farak Kushatma. Farak Kushatma. While they're discussing, okay. I'm going to try right. to peek. Is there anything I see like lying there that's very interesting? I you see lots of gems. But I mean, out, out of the ordinary. Not gems or Out of the ordinary. <laughs> All that None stuff. of this is okay. ordinary. No, no, no. I mean, besides jewels and gold. No, okay. no. I mean, there's candelabras. Right. I mean, besides right. precious items. <laughs> yeah. Besides here. Besides the more it. wealth. Right. Than you've probably seen in your entire right. life. Okay. No, there's nothing unusual. <laughs> you walk into a room, just piles of cash, and but you don't see anything else unusual. Yeah. Okay. Um, you guys are still there. What to the you? surface. To the surface. All right. Who is going? 
I go, <coughs> so you, what am I doing? We should bring him with us. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is the opportunity for you to help gain trust with us by helping our companions through the city. Uh, we need we need unseen. to find uh, yeah well yeah, yeah unseen. but uh, we need to, to find the, any remnants move. of the organization that resided down here I, that too. and let them know there is a new mistress in charge and, possibly, and a new fabulous lieutenant and possibly a location <laughs> where we can hide out and hide the money. I'm I mean, it seems like the money was really safe down here. <laughs> I'm okay with that too. Okay, That's, I have no no opposition to that. But Do you know how many carts we will need to carry all this money? We we'll need a caravan okay. that will draw attention. Okay, yeah. I, keep I, it here. I, there is no argument. For me. All right. Do not need to sell me on this. Okay. I'm also ritually casting. Okay. But I'm putting out all of the things I use just with so much like care and intricacy. Taking my time. You take your time. You put out the necessary items. Abu flutters into being there after a little, after the ritual cast. Who is, you do recall that there was the entrance that you originally came in. You do recall that there was the large opening that seemed to exit to so almost like a boat exit uh, of some sort. The big watery thing. Yeah. And you there's, do a, re- there's a ladder at that end. Yeah, you do uh, recall uh, that in the approach to this large room, there was also a tunnel that seemed to dip down a great distance and then rise up a similar distance that it dipped down and then it bent off, but you didn't continue down. It seemed to bend off to possibly an exit. Then you continued on and you do recall that there was another entrance that you did, or exit as the case may be, Mm -hmm. that you did explore and you Somebody poked their head up and saw that it seemed to exit into the square where he, you executed the <laughs> captain of the guards and his compatriots. Uh, he had it coming. I'm sorry. He had it coming. Anyway, uh, you and I'm sorry, you and Mattias. Yes, executed. Mattias. This is true. Mattias was totally complicit in that. But Mattias uh, totally. Yeah. And then you recall <laughs> that. Um, <laughs> I see. Was there any another one? That, and I think. And I think, and now you've come upon this ladder. So you know that there were multiple ways out, and you're going toward the ladder. The ladder. You go toward the group. Who is going toward the ladder? Naldo and the Baron. And and Kroof. And Kroof. Naldo and Baron, and the rest of the three of you. Mattias, what are you going to do down here? Oh, Mattias should go. He should go. I'm, okay. I'm a bit confused about what exactly yeah. everyone is doing. We should go, though. Okay. Come, come, come with us, Matthias, my knight. My <laughs> knight in shining armor. Please, come with us. My holy knight. Is there someone else I can go with? <laughs> well, Naldo will be there as well. <laughs> and Kroof, you know Kroof. <laughs> so I guess really your choice is <laughs> go with the party that's exiting the dungeon or stay with behind with the 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 folks who are going to stay behind with the swamp mon- I mean the uh, swamp. stay behind and guard the treasure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who's staying behind? Kip, Kip, Kip no, and Galala. And technically Balder. And technically Balder. Oh, yeah. Certainty of certainty of combat. <laughs> Or, 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 or giving further ammunition to the Baron. I am going to church. If you feel the need to come pray with me, you can come join me. I'm not Christian. This is okay. You will not be turned away. The Lord never turns anyone away. I feel like you're proselytizing. I think that Galela, do you would you prefer if I stay here with you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to put anyone else in harm's way. So the choice is yours. You may fight down here. I don't know. You can come with us, Matthias. I will not be going to church. They don't have any fun in there. 
not my concern. My concern is giving the Baron more ammunition to keep calling me what he did that. My knight, why are you so upset? I mean, you are somewhat of a holy avenger. This is... Is this not what you are? I am a knight sworn to the service of the of King Charles of Hungary. Well, we all recite the same thing. Says. <laughs> King Charles of Hungary. Bathory, we know, we know, the blue sky. Yes. Maybe you will help in their... He will be a Christian at some Persuasion. point. Persuasion. <laughs> Soon enough. As will Soon we enough. all. Soon enough. <laughs> so say we all. <laughs> I mean, Kip as well. His old people will all become Christians. Right. No, it most of them. Been, most of them. I will have be foreseen dead. it. <laughs> they will be dead. <laughs> <laughs> I start heading for the ladder. You start heading for the ladder. Too much shit chat. And I think to myself, they're a very indecisive group. <laughs> <laughs> True words were never spoken. Yeah. <laughs> With you, you start moving toward the ladder. You I'll, I say, I'll see you all up top. How can anybody make decisions with nine hundred thousand dollars worth of coal? <laughs> I gotta go up there with them. Yeah, I'll follow close by. You follow decisions, close by. Decisions. You yeah. lead Maddie as, 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 as I as I walk and I come climb, back, make they can hear okay. jingling happening coming from my pants. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take my Understood. pocket knife. I'm gonna slice it. So they all fall out without knowing. <laughs> and combat ensues again. <laughs> oh, no, I just want to kind of hold in the pocket. So, so as he's I walking. will stay with Galela. Understood. You're staying with Galela. Okay. The rest of the party ventures up the up the ladder, and Kroof, you go up to it, and you find at the top of the ladder a small door, but it looks like the back of a door, and you suspect that it's the back of a secret door. So from your side, it's not a secret at all. What are you doing? Is there a, a lock or a latch? Not on this side. So am I, so, uh, okay. So I will, I will check for traps. Okay, you look and you clearly see a, a trap and it is directed toward the other side. I I will yell down and say, uh, this door is very interesting. It looks like there's protection, but not from this side. It looks like if I try to open it, someone's getting shot on the other side if there is anybody. Open the door. No, we're all on this side. <laughs> Go ahead, push it. Uh, I'm not sure. Also, if it happens, we might alert everybody from that we're down here. That not is sure. good. That would be perfect. They will know soon enough. Us, and we can... Introduce them to the Nino Mysteries. It would be better uh, if you shot them than rather just sticking your head out at the <laughs> opening for them to to attack. Shall I push are it? You, are you ready? I'll do it, but I think it might not be the best course of action. Open we are door. fond of, of the, that. <laughs> I, put, we I, are said, I said, okay. I push it open. You push it, you hear... As if some darts went off in the other direction, and you find yourself inside a what looks. You look through the door. Yes. Yeah. You look through, and it looks like cautiously, just dim light. You looks like a storage room of some sort, like the wall. You're at a, a, at a small opening in uh, in the lower part of a wall, entering into a storage room. You glance around and you can see what looks like kegs. You suspect they're probably ale or beer. Some foodstuffs. Looks like some meat hanging from from <laughs> some hooks on the ceiling. Looks good. Is there food up there? I yell down. You better get up here quick. <laughs> to to the fabulous fabulous Naldo. Fabulous Naldo. <laughs> Fabulous novel. <laughs> I said, you better, I, I, if I, if I, um. Good, because that blood I sausage isn't there, sitting well. <laughs> I go up there, if I can reach a blood sausage, I look down, if he's still, if he's not on a ladder, I'll throw him down a sausage. Okay. Ah! <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> He just took a sausage to the face. He's attacking you. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Anybody right. else going up? Yeah. yeah you right. are yeah. inside the yeah. storage room. You see it's probably about eight foot by eight foot. 
there is a door, clearly a door at one end. It is closed, but it, it it's not like a solid, heavy, you know, steel door. Well, I'm going to board you first. I haven't, okay. eaten, in, yeah. I haven't eaten in a very long time. Been down here for days. I have been <laughs> you know, years. I have been a long time there, you know. You are engorging yourself on food, Naldo. You come up. Yeah, I'll walk to, towards the door. Um, and the Baron goes up as well. Matthias, Galela, and Kip are downstairs. You find yourself in the the three of you find yourself in this storage room, engorging on stuff. I know. I'm down to down to dish sausage. You should try this one. It's real good. <laughs> and mm. you you find uh, that. You can hear noise on the other side emanating through that door, and it almost sounds like uh, you're in some part of a tavern. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are you going? I will pop my collar up, and I will open the door, and just walk in, keep my head down, and just We're walk supposed through. to be quiet. I... <laughs> it is crowded. Yeah, I don't know. It is good. Okay, you like, can speak. You, <laughs> you are never. As he does, and he makes all this. If he makes a ruckus, <laughs> I, I, jet into like a dark area or something where since he's making all this ruckus, I don't want to be noticed. I wouldn't okay. say it's a ruckus. I open the door. You slammed. You said out. I slammed the door. You said I slammed the door. No, I said I just opened the door. I go out. I pop my collar up. Okay. And I look out and I just walk. Yeah, I just have a collar. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the bathroom. Blah, blah. <laughs> As you walk out. Take the rag out. Three guys come walking out. <laughs> As you walk out, you see this large, heavy set woman with a huge wart on her nose. She's wearing a gaudy green, kind of almost like a, a gone with the wind tapestry taken off the wall <laughs> dress, if you will. Huh? Very, as if she's trying to look more above her station. Above her station. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe with some some gaudy uh, plastic uh-huh. jewelry, and she has some mugs in her hands, and she's, "Oh, look what came out from underneath! What are you lot doing?" Exploring. We are on business. Uh, Best to keep it to yourself. You don't look like the normal type that comes out from down there. We are much better looking, are we not? We are. We are a special contractor. It is not information for you to be aware of. Well, Best for your own safety this way. Are you Good having day. anything to drink? No, thank you. We shall be moving on. I will take one. Oh, very well. I'm working I'm on my way out. Yeah, I make out two. Done. Oh, to go. Uh, I, I chug it down. I'm sorry. I see him leaving, so I chug it. Oh? I mean, you're going to pay for that, aren't you? I, I go... He has I, the goat. <laughs> I, I go in my pocket, and I'm hopefully... Do I have anything in my pocket besides the gold? Yeah, there's a hole. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure, you have a diamond. You have a couple of diamonds. Oh, then I will uh, I will say, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, that, that gentleman was the pay. The one who walked out. What? I'm already out. I'm gonna remember you lot. Yeah, you don't rightly go down there and not pay either. Well, it's okay. You you follow. I want to talk to you for a little while. Oh, you do? Do yeah. you? Yeah, and I'll I'll give her like three gold pieces. Oh, well, that's very nice of you, you handsome little man. Near you. <laughs> Finally, somebody on, that appreciates me! Oh, I put on my finest finery this morning. Very elegant. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I have some very interesting news that I think needs to be spread. Oh, what kind of news? Bring her in close. Oh, I'm listening to you. Oh, you've got sweet smelling breath. You yeah. <laughs> That was the blood sausage. <laughs> you see that her breath is like heinous. But go ahead. Yours is lovely as well, madame. Oh, I thank you. I think you should know that there has been a change of leadership below. Are your bowels in trouble? <laughs> no. Underneath where we came from. The ones that were in charge down there are in charge no more. 
Oh. Oh, really? Maybe. Well, they used to take a lot of gold through here. Well, I don't know that it was gold, but satchels, it mm. sort of jingled and jangled. Oh. And uh, we allowed them to come and go. So if they're not in charge, who's in charge? There was a new mistress. And who might that be? The glorious Galela. <laughs> well, I didn't actually know the name of the previous one who was in charge. So, this Galela. Yes. And, uh, yeah. I'm sorry? Is she do? I think things will run as normal. You will still get your payment and we will still run through here. But I need you to spread the word that things have changed and there's new leadership. There's new leaders. Shh, not Ooh. so loud. Oh, no, no, misters. Yeah. Not so loud. Mr. Handsome. Yeah, Mr. just slow, <laughs> just put it out there slowly. Why, thank you. Uh, slowly, I yeah. like it yeah. slow. Yeah, yeah. Do you like it slow? Oh, Jesus. <sighs> slow, like slow cooked food? I love slow cooked food. Not yes. That's quite what I meant. Okay. What? Very well, we can put that out. Galalus yeah. is now in charge of mm. Down Under. And her lieutenant that everyone should answer to before even contacting the Galalus. Yes. Is Naldo Renzi. And Naldo Renzi, and who is Naldo Renzi? That is me. You're in charges? Oh. Like second in charges. I, I've got a room for you and a warm bed if you'd like it. Well, uh, maybe later. Maybe later. But everything should be run through me no. before it goes to her. What? Well, I'll run lots of stuff through you if you'd <laughs> like. Okay. But certainly. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Very nice meeting you, Mr. Naldo's Renzi's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we'll be looking for Galela's. Yes, yes indeed. Yes. Hi. How will we know her? Is she like 10 feet tall, like some kind of... Yes, blood red eyes. Blood red eyes, Ooh. That That weep black down her face. I hope she that comes in here like when it's very, very dark because these are some really, really messed up people in here. Yeah. And they would think that they saw something like from, not from down under us, but like from the like, bowels yeah, of the earth. Yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed. Well, but, okay. Yeah. All right, I got to go. They, very well, they are you probably go well down the street already. You very well go then. Okay. You can you guys continue down the street. <laughs> Where are you going? So as we're walking, if, if, if I see any areas that might be causing trouble for them, since I know they're trying to avoid, I will notify them and let them know. Okay, very cool. Just stay away. It, it's right now, I'm gonna say it's the middle of the afternoon or late afternoon, and you're wandering through the streets. It's a, a busy kind of uh, commotion of, of, of streets, if you will. Um, and as you continue to venture forth through it, where are you heading in particular? What are you looking for? Baron's looking for a church. You very easily, all you have to do is look up and you see a massive, massive okay. church. That's where I'm coming. The rest of you are going with him? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the three of you. I go to Naldo, why are we going to church? <laughs> I don't know, we are not going inside. He is only going inside. Why? There's a tithing box. Because I, I don't, he, he likes that. Why? I don't know. I can't figure it out. But okay. it helps him. Okay. Like the gold helps us? Okay. Yeah. You very easily find the church. You venture through the city streets and you make your way up toward it. And it's just a colossal. There's a large uh, plaza in front of it. Just a colossal entrance with all types of uh, carved uh, images and stonework on it, and then the two towers just tower up into the sky. There's it's some busy uh, 
market activity going on in front of the uh, in front of it at the same time. Okay. The doors are sl uh, open. It's the daytime. It is very beautiful. Yes, it is. It's, it's fitting for the Lord. Uh, I'm gonna walk right up to the right up to the threshold of the door, and I will stop right at the threshold. And I will just pause for a few moments. I'm just gonna stand there like I'm almost frozen. Just stand there as though I'm talking to somebody in my head, and then I will just all of a sudden just move through. You venture into you the... You burst into flames. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, just like that. You're dead. You venture into the, to the vestibule of the church and into the, 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 uh, the main part of the church. And just, it's just as expansive as it was outside, it is equally impressive inside. Huge vaulted ceiling with, made of stonework and some type of limestone uh, roof, if you will. Incredibly long columns on either side, small chapels on either side of it. As you make your way inside, where are you going? Where did not did Nada go in? Did you go in with me? Okay, okay. Um, you gotta um, watch this dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm assuming there's no mass in session. Or there doesn't like seem that. to be one going on okay. at the moment. I'm gonna go find a place up by the altar, okay. um, as close as I can. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna work my way up to the altar. Yeah, just slowly walk my way up. You slowly move your way up. You can still hear the echoing sound of the market outside, but it's very, very quiet inside. There are probably a few people play, praying in some of the various chapels yeah. around. I will light a candle when I walk past the candle. Okay. Light a candle, and um, I will go kneel up by the altar. Okay. Um, and then. Uh, Uh, my, my lord, I never know from day to day if I will be welcomed to enter your graces here. I never know if each day is real or if it has, if I have been taken by the darkness yet. I am grateful to be here with you. I am your humble servant. I fight this evil for you in your name, and I hope I have not disappointed you, as I have disappointed others in the past. I ask you, in my humbleness, a favor. I do not believe that I have the strength to continue to fight this holy war for you. I feel I have fallen behind. I ask you, in the face of great danger, to give us the strength to continue. Time is, is of the essence to us at this moment. We do not have time to rest. We must, we must be blessed with your holy power to continue to fight in your name. I do not have the strength to protect. I grow older, faster than I ever, ever before. I ask you, my Lord, to spare some of your divine powers to me and to my companions so we may continue to fight this war against evil. For I feel the darkness is taking me every day. I do not have the power alone without you to continue to fight. I ask you and I pray to you as your humble servant to bestow your power, your graces among me and my companions. And uh, I'm going to cast divine intervention um, kind of in that whole process. Um, 
and I'm basically asking to restore us to our full potential. As you very eloquently make your play, the bells start to sound almost as if on timing as you're ending it. And you feel a warmth go over you. Go ahead and roll with advantage. I know it's percentile, but roll it. So roll okay, it twice. So just roll. roll percentile twice. Oh. And I need another guy. I need a medic. Um. I have one. Perfect. Oh, wait, I got it. I got it. And if you want, then you can reuse inspiration. I've seen your walls. Okay. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I never remember how this works. Um, one percentile and one d10, right? Or, mm-hmm. Right? Okay. 79. So, Did you roll it twice? You roll, you roll oh, it twice. I rolled it twice? Oh, sorry about that. Higher. Well, you need to roll under a number, don't you? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't. Wait, no, wait, let me see. No, it doesn't. <coughs> Sorry, no, it doesn't. Equal to or less than, oh, right. The rolls is equal to or less than 10. You're uh, equal to or less than 10. So I have to roll less than a 10? Yeah, yeah, one zero, a one on the D10, and then a zero, or a zero, oh. one, okay. zero, two, oh, yeah. zero, three. Zero four, zero five, zero six. Yeah, it is. All right. Um, well, I'll use a divine percent chance. Yeah, I'll use. I'll, I'll, I'll blow through them. Did you already roll the, with advantage? No, yeah. you only rolled the one. You only rolled once. I rolled. I you didn't roll. What you roll the second time? I rolled the second time. I rolled okay. sixty one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So roll with advantage again. That's <laughs> eighty two. Oh, the opposite way. Yeah, you're going. Forty four. <laughs> getting closer. I'm doing the guys. I'll burn through. 21. It's never going to... There's no way. Yeah, dude. I mean, there is a way. Yeah. So there is. A, Mathematically, obviously this there's is possible. A way. Did you roll twice God is very time? busy right oh, now, man. So. Yeah, you didn't roll twice that time. You I know. just rolled... That's the second, that's the second one. one. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know what that means. I guess that means... What is it? Oh, it's an actual 20. Or whatever the a highest zero? on the That's a zero. Be. That's a zero, then? That's a zero. So, it's a six. I got a six. Oh, a zero, yeah. six. You huh. feel... That's it. A warmth come over you. <laughs> that wasn't bad. You only got picked two. It's like rush hour for God right now, man. All <laughs> the party members. Is Kruf a party member? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a token. <laughs> I'll give it to him. I'll give yes. it to him. Okay, yes. All of the party members <laughs> have completed a long rest. Ooh, that's exciting. Mm-hmm. The equivalent of a long rest. Okay. You down, Matthias. Did you feel that? I'll take Galela, Kip, down in the bowels oh. of the sewers. You feel Surprise something her. rush over you, You're and just, just you suddenly feel. Must have been the sausage wing. Like mm. something, oh, how you were imbued sausage. with something, and and you feel rested, restored. Kind of meta, but your hit points are back <laughs> and your spells are back. Does my exhaustion go away? Uh, if it does after a long rest, I think you lose that. one. Yes. yes. Yep. So for me, since she is Christian, feeling that warmth in her being off to the corner, she would just start crying silently. Just feeling the grace, the grace More of God, so like, like, right? Mm-hmm. She feels the comfort, but doesn't want to right now. So, and then, Kip oh. and Mattias might just see her like try to collect herself. Just anger, just get up and kind of just like walk away from them <laughs> a little. Still holding. Her dad's. Uh, Just for play. sense of flavor, I feel like Galela somehow knows that the Baron also leaps at the same time. Uh, Kip doesn't notice. 
because he is off to the side and he is kneeling down and he pulls out a uh, something uh, older, a carved wooden head whistle and he pops off the top of it and inside of it is a, a poorly crafted uh, silver ring uh, with two leaves off to the side of it and he holds it and he says I will resolve this as I am we will be home soon and just then he starts to weep and he feels mm -hmm. overcome with mm -hmm. the health come back to that mm -hmm. with you're outside and you've just met these people, but you feel like an, this just overwhelming sense of like euphoria or something like a wave. A lot of confusion. <laughs> Perhaps confusion too, yeah. Because I've never had anything like this living on the streets. So to me, this is very confusing. Absolutely. A little scary too. You're standing next to him. You suddenly felt whatever rolled over and the two of you are standing there outside the, the church and I think it worked whatever he did worked I feel fantastic I don't know you don't very, know very, let's very, go get a drink come on <laughs> let's go I feel fantastic very weird okay. what is that? I think what the feeling right now I <laughs> feel like getting drunk <laughs> fabulous um, let's go so the Baron also wants we to need take to find some of those leave contacts him alone? Staff would you sleep I, or would we take him out it is fine. And I'm going to hold it okay. in front That's of me um, at the altar, kneeling with it. Um, and he just wants to, I just want to, uh, Baron goes, just, just, I want to thank you for all your gifts to me. I will not let you down. I know you speak to me. And I'm just going to hold <laughs> it and just really concentrate on that item. Just connect with it. Just <laughs> connect with it. As you do, as you connect with it, some of the words that the party has echoed from Zyman's in multiple interpretations of the book that he carried, that Galayla now has in her possession. And Galayla's further interpretations of the book, some of the words just echo back into your head. The demon killer shall absolve her sins and drive away all strife. For now we drown, having forsaken our souls for everlasting life. In Castle Tall, the shaft, yet stained with blood, the petals mark the same, yet twisted forevermore, its family barks their name. You look down and you, you know you're holding the shaft. And even as you hold it, it sort of expands in your hands. It's five feet long. Then it's six feet long, then seven, eight, nine, as you stand there. And you realize that multiple people could hold on to this and wield it as a group, as a team. <clears throat> the rest of the poem echoes in your ears the emperor bears the point when the regalia is dawned on he as the greatest dragon gave his life so that man would be free. You know that Balder carries the point, the Hyla Galanza. The chambers of his heart may fire a charge from none, from which none but the stoutest may flee. You know that that charge is probably the dragon crystal. 
yet require Guillaume's sins wrapped in band to permit the binding parts for thee. That doesn't ring a bell to you. Illuminated, Alan, none will last. To avoid darkness, all must act fast. For triumph, four must charge two rods, or three, four, or two, six. You came upon a book, a book of measures, and you know that a rod is not some esoteric thing, but a unit of measurement. So those numbers mean something in terms of distance. If you fail, the world shall fail. A greater demon shall call, and all shall join Sharon in Styx. That all echoes in your head at that time. Back with Kip, you pulled out that ring and you held it in your hand there. You're still in the stank of this awful, <laughs> awful place. It just, you just can't seem to, you can't seem to win down here. I can't shake it. It's just, you're in this miserable, miserable place. And literally as you as you pulled that out and you started thinking to yourself you just kind of got pulled somewhere else again in your mind You quickly find yourself I'm hearing some other noise. It's like basically playing. You have like a movie playing. <laughs> Stop the <a> play. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> you find yourself back on the on this storm coast again with Cyan. And she quickly crosses to you across the across the tundra. And she says, Kip. I think I know what this place is. This is just a memory, but it's not just a memory. It's, it's, it's our personal nightmare. A nightmare. But seeing you is, a, is a dream. But it's all fading for me. That is fading for me. Come with me. Let me show you something. I will come. She reaches out. Do you take her hand? With no hesitation. She reaches out and she she just takes you and you start to run and she says, "Look, there is something else. It, if there is such a place as a heaven for us, I think it is here. And the the things that did this." To Gary, that did this to us. And they told me there is a way for us to be together. I mean, you can't. If you took your own life, you, we couldn't be together. But they told me there there is one. It, they just <laughs> said it's the red one, with that it would have hideous wings and horns. Um, but if it for some reason took you, it would try to take you to its hell, but it can't take you to hell because you're, we're not human. You're not human. Hi. 
But then... You could be with me. If you were to somehow... I don't know. Um, I, if, if it were... Uh, I don't know. It's all scattered, but... If for some reason it were to take you, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it couldn't take you with it. But I could be with you. Yes. I beca know. Because I know that it, it thinks that it would go, it would take you to its hell. But that, but it can't. Then I think I don't know what must be done. I will find it. And I will let it send me to you. And then we can be together. Everybody having a good time? Yeah. Mm hmm. Oy yeah. vey. Man, glad I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, hey, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Everything is awesome! <laughs> hey, good stuff, guys. Uh, I had a good time. Thank you very much. It didn't go as I thought, but it never does. Going around the room, Reiner, did you have a good time? I did. What was your highlight, sir? Um, getting to see the, the shenanigans with our newcomer's uh, or arrival, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, with the, the new, uh, our new, your new compatriot, you mean? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Things never go like the DM thinks they will. <laughs> you know? But it's all good. It's all good. Well, that was your hot. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Fifteen hundred experience points for Mattias. Brian, did you have a yeah. good time? Yeah, great time. What was your highlight? Uh, well, I appreciate the opportunity to, for, for oh, me to. Oh, did I give you an inspiration for that? That was wicked oh, cool. Um, yeah, I just I, the opportunity to do that was a lot of fun, um, and I like. I always, in all those, like, quick reactions to things, like talking to the barmaid the and, like, <laughs> oh, going with that. It's, you it's, don't recognize it's, it's me? so <laughs> great. It's the best. I always have so much fun with it. It's, it's good. It's good role playing. It really, really is. Thank you. That's yeah. always my, my, my highlight is the role playing, you know. Very, very cool. Uh, I'm glad you liked it. 3,500 experience <laughs> points. Layla, did you have a good time? Because did you have a good time? Uh, yes. What was I your did. highlight? Honestly, I really love the dialogue between Naldo and the bar, the barmaid. <laughs> like, that was just like golden. <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> um, and also, like, I feel like playing like Layla and not having her issue together a little bit. I feel like normally she kind of does. Or uh -huh. like she can fit yeah. pretty well, but like. You're rattled. You're rattled. Mess. Yeah. yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so. Very, very cool. Uh, 3,000 experience points. Mark. Yes, sir. Kip, did you have a good time? Absolutely, yes. What was your highlight? Um, there were some uh, backstory uh, moments, which I thought was really great, kind of advancing a little bit more of what Kip's, um, you know, direction and, and goal looks like. So whether he's being misled or not, he's going to be naive to it, of course. And... Um, and this is good. This was good. Thank you for that. Very, very cool. Um, two thousand experience points. Hey, sorry to call that out, Mark, but yeah, you and you and Tom both did great with that. Yeah. With your backstory. Mm -hmm. It's nice. always good to hear it. Thanks. It's very, very good. Well, thank you. Um, very, very cool. I enjoyed it. I tried to make it as dramatic as possible, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Uh, James, did you have a good time? Phenomenal. What was your highlight? Just the group in general. You know, everybody in the group there. You know, I was felt very warmly welcomed. Okay. Uh, the, I'm not sure I would have called and, it. And and not, <laughs> well, as, outside of character play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, very good. Uh, awesome. Uh, you know, we use a level difference bonus. Uh, Seven thousand experience points. That's experience that should be a pop. That's like level five. Then a pop, I think. Yeah. yeah. It should be level five. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Jess, did you have a good time? Uh, fabulous. What was your uh, I, I love the back and forth in the beginning between uh, James and Jabeta. I, I thought that was, that was great. I thought it was actually very realistic about like what might actually happen if like yeah. the meeting occurred that way. Like um, that was great. Uh, 
Using sharpshooter for the first time and hitting yeah. the natural 20. Oh, <laughs> shit. yeah. First, first relic for 78 20. hit yeah, points. Yeah, with the plus was, 10. Was great. <laughs> and as formerly playing Zyman, having the, the shaft come back into play in, in a different fashion than what I thought it would be yeah. while I was playing Zyman yeah. and having it show up here, I thought was really good. Yeah. Uh, I like that a lot. I do have questions about the shaft. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll get to that next time. Nalda doesn't know anything. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I, I do like, because you said it grew. Yeah. I'm curious if it goes Stay. back down. Or does it Probably. grow? Or does, yeah. is it now, we now walk around this <laughs> eight foot, nine foot long thing. I'm just curious. <laughs> what happens? Look at this. I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's very, very cool. But, <laughs> but I love all that, that part of the story and yeah. when that comes into it. Everything, because that's kind of like the end. That's what we're aiming for. That's the end game that we're shooting for in the long run at some point. <laughs> yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good to be a step a, closer. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Like it really is. Uh -huh. The bandages should be yeah within a couple hundred miles. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, we just gotta kill some dragons. Uh -huh. Somebody has to talk to kids. Thirty-five hundred experience points. I don't I know what's going on. Right. Thirty-five hundred experience points. Yes, <laughs> guys, I had a good time. Uh, Reiner, being the Tin Can Man, I loved it when you were waking up and pretending to be yeah, uh, that was great. groggy. Uh, I thought that was great. That was very, very yeah. in character. I, I just, I just loved it. If yeah, you only had a heart. There you go, <laughs> Ryan. I, uh, you obviously put some thought. And yeah. effort into that speech. Yeah, and, uh, I did. I did. I think it. I thought it was, it was it great. Was awesome. Very, very well, incredible. <laughs> very, very cool. Galea, it sounds like you're on the fence. Is Galea the next evil overlord or the or the or the good guy here? I'm interested to see. Gotta go home or there find out what her family's like. King. I feel like I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody's saying that you have to stay here. No, no, I'm. I know. I'm saying, I think that's what's going on. Too. Leave that to your lieutenant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And sometimes bad organizations can do good. Well, with, that's what with the proper she, leadership. I think, yeah, that's what mm -hmm. she would be thinking. And considering mm -hmm. where her dad's business was, mm -hmm. too, like that's in her blood. And it was also left to her, so now she has to figure out what the heck is going on with that. Yeah, it's a lot. So. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. I'm looking forward to it. Mark, uh, I know you're not going to be here for a little bit. Uh, I 100% get it. Uh, it was fun to advance. And I like the way uh, you, you, you know, a lot, a lot. it didn't go the way I thought it was going to go, yeah. but I liked the way you just rolled with it. And, mm -hmm. and I appreciate it. You know, sometimes you're on the stage and you just got to, you know, a little bit of improv. And you are a master at improv, so I appreciate it. Uh, James, you had a tough game to fight today, and uh, <laughs> it's always hard. I think I talked when we, when we spoke, I spoke about Tuckman's stages of group development, that every time somebody <laughs> enters the, the group, there's always a little bit of storming, norming, um, for, or forming, storming, norming, performing, and that forming and storming part really played out tonight, so I appreciate you having a positive attitude about it. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Jess, incredible stuff with my uh, my silly barkeep. <laughs> I loved it. it was Thank great. you for playing it's along. Fabulous. For playing along. You That's always, what I live for. You always lean into <laughs> role play. I, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> guys, thank you for making this fun for me. Um, uh, let me see. Where are we here? Thank you guys uh, for watching Seven Sided Dies Carpathian Adventure. Again, we would like to thank Sirenscape for the use of their audio sound effects. That's www. S-Y-R-I-N-S-C-A-P-E.com. Thank you, artist Yenu and Silky Noir for the terrific character art. Please patronize them via the at symbol Yenu draws on Instagram. At symbol Yenu on Tumblr and Twitter. And patronize Deviant, uh, patronize Silky Noir on DeviantArt. And please comment in the Twitch chat room on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and on YouTube. While we do this strictly for fun, please let us know how we might improve the stream. Lastly, please follow us on Twitch and on Instagram. Please like on Facebook and YouTube, and please subscribe on YouTube. Always remember in the Carpathian Adventure, the journey is the destination.
and we will continue the journey in two weeks. So for now, thank you for watching. Roll a seven-sided die and have a great night. Play some Dungeons and Dragons!